Welcome, Wargamers! Luca here from IndieWargaming.com, joined by returning guest Kyle, and we are doing 2,000 points of the Tau Empire against the Sisters of Battle. Let's get right into it. We play and call it work. Mini Wargaming's Warhammer 40k Battle Report. Let's take a look at our forces in today's battle. Leading my army, I'm running a Cannon S, the Melta Pistol, the Infernal Pistol there. Her enhancement will be the Mantle of Ophelia. I'm playing the Martyr Detachment. I really like it. I know, I know we have some new fun ones in the Codex, but I just like this one so much. And she'll be joined by a Hospitaller, I cannot pronounce that word for the life of me, as well as a Sacrosanct Squad, all together happy in a Rhino. Running this old model here is a Palantine with a bolt pistol and a Palantine blade with the Chaplet of Sacrifice, I believe. It lets me reroll my miracle dice. She'll be joining a unit of 10 Sisters of Battle. This squad will have a Melta gun and a multi Melta. I'll be running one additional squad of Sisters of Battle. Uh, these ones have flamers one heavy flamer, one regular flamer, just to change it up. Running two Retrobeater squads here, uh, all with multi Meltas. They're both going to be riding in immolators with immolation cannons. I got two of them. One squad of Repentia, another squad of Seraphim. I should mention I'm running hand flamers on them. I have two rhinos for the Sisters of Battle today. One will be carrying my Warlord, one will be carrying the Sister Repentia. I have a unit of two Penitent Engines today to advance and charge into enemy lines and sell their souls for the God Emperor of Mankind. And finally, yes, I'm bringing the old Exorcist model here out from the back rooms. If you've ever been in mini wargaming, it's in the dungeon. Very dusty these were, but I really wanted to put them on the table because I haven't played with them in a while. And that is simply the only reason. Hey everyone, this is Kyle. I'm from Michigan and I am playing Tau today and my warlord is going to be Shadow Sun. I am also running Farsight as well and uh, he's going to be joining a squad of Sunforge crisis suits. And here are the Sunforge with the fusion guns ready to pop some tanks. And then I have a Cold Star Commander who is not running Plasma but has three missile pods and one cyclic ion blaster. And this is the Fire Knife squad that he is joining. They are all with missile pods, not plasma rifles as you see, but some weapons are better than no weapons. Exactly. Disregard the plasma. Those are just fancy looking missiles. And here I have a breacher squad led by a Kadra Fireblade. They of course have their drone that makes them minus one to wound when being shot. And this is my special treat to all you Imperium players. These are humans that know the right from wrong and have joined Aww. the greater good. Boo! So it's another breacher team, but I can't remember what, what, what are the humans who call who joined the Empire called? They are called Gavasa. That's them. That's them right there. And they got a they actually have a proper Kadra Fireblade leading them. Yes. <laughs> uh, these are their two rides. We got the red with human breachers and the gray with the Tau breachers. Proper Tau breachers, yeah. Who have the enhancement that uh, give them sustained twos on turn two. And then I have two teams of stealth teams. Uh, with a fusion blaster and the edge case that they can retreat, the fusion blaster can still shoot, and they have a market light drone. I have two broadsides with the support weapon upgrade, meaning no modifiers to my hit roll, and a smart missile system, and of course the rail rifles. And then of course I have two riptides with the ion cannon and smart missile systems. We have some pathfinders uh, pushing the gap and scouting ahead. I of course can't leave home without a hammerhead, so here's my hammerhead with the rail gun and uh, smart missile systems. Obligatory hammerhead. Obligatory I like it. hammerhead. Today's mission is the burden of trust. The Tau have broken down the first walls and are assaulting into this Imperial settlement. And we will be playing on a tipping point deployment zone. Now we have this building directly in the middle. It is covered by a shield generator. That's why it survived the shelling of this battlefield from the Tau forces. It is a major control building within this section controls the outer wall and the inner wall, allowing the Tau to further push into Imperial territory in this city. Obviously, the Sisters of Battle do not want to allow it. That is the objective in the middle. It is then surrounded by four other objectives that represent key locations and ammo stores. Uh, both players are going to deploy along the short table edges opposite one another, the Tau on the left as they have broken down the wall, and the Adepta Soroita on the right, reinforcing the this fallen battlefield. With the burden of trust, Trust. It is scoring objectives out of your deployment zone. You get four per objective you control. And then there is an additional rule where you can give the unit controlling it the ability to guard that same objective until the start of your next turn. And then at the end of each player's turn, also starting the second battle round, the opponent of the player whose turn it currently is will score two victory points for each of their units that aren't battle shocked 
that are within range of and still guarding an objective marker that they control. So let's take an objective out of your deployment zone, declare you're going to guard it, and then guard it for the enemy player's turn to score just a little bit more victory points. And that's your primary goal there. You want to get 50 points on primary. And then both Kyle and myself will be drawing random secondary mission cards that will make up the additional 40 points of our score out of 100. And we're going to play with tertiary objectives on top of that. That is four victory points for Slay the Warlord. Just simply destroy the enemy warlord throughout the game. You'll gain three victory points for behind enemy lines. That is having one of your units wholly within the opponent's deployment zone at the game's end. And then two victory points to whichever player or both players if they destroy an enemy unit in the first battle round of the game for a total of nine tertiary points instead of the painted army bonus. Well, Kyle and myself are deployed and ready to play this game to quickly go over some of the deployment details here. I got battle sisters with flamers and no characters. Exorcist, this is the emulator with retributors, or well, one of them at least, a sister Repentia and our Sacrosancts with the Cannon S. Other Battle Sister Squad on our home field objective, supported by an Exorcist, Penitent Engines, and the other Retributor Squad inside of an Emulator. On the other side of the board, Kyle, what do you have and where? All right, we got our Hammerhead over here, obligatory Hammerhead. I noticed you didn't put anything in front of it. Nope. Kind of shame. Got Riptide, Stealth Suit, Shadow Sun, Fire Knife, Cold Star, another Riptide, Pathfinder's over there, I have my two devil fish full of breachers. One more says stealth suits. And ripped. No, no. Broadsides. Broadsides. Broadsides over there. In reserve, you have your... Farsight and uh, Sunforges. And for myself, I have my Seraphim squad. Everything else is deployed on the table here. Speaking of the table, this terrain is a new set of terrain we have here. At Mini Wargaming, it is from War Scenery. It will be in the description down below. Of course, if you like what you see here, you can go right to their website and buy the STLs. But if you want the physical printed stuff already, if you don't have any finesse with uh, 3D printers or you don't like messing with them, we offer the printed versions of them on the Forge uh, as an alternative option as well. But you know, STLs are definitely a lot cheaper <laughs> if you have the film and everything for yourself. Lots of things like ruined buildings, obviously very gothic in nature, very designed for Warhammer 40k. Uh, this wall section here is all part of the same set. It's kind of going with the narrative of today. Obviously, this is an imperial fortification that the Tau have breached through, using this deployment area to represent that, uh, and coming through the gate here. Trying to get to this command building here that has the shield around it. The only way to really infiltrate it is to actually physically breach it and get inside yourself. Obviously, the structures are, well, I shouldn't say obviously, but the structures are built to come off in layers, so they're very easy to play with. Uh, several layers actually it goes all the way down to the ground floor and we are going to be playing as this is a uh, ruin uh, mechanically so we're probably going to play with that lower level only revealed but we'll get to that when we get to that and of course it comes with the rest of the uh, intact structures on this side of the battlefield as well and they're of the same nature they all come apart as well if you want to play with the insides of them which obviously helps a lot with Warhammer 40k obviously a giant building here as well uh, with the smaller wall structure on this side, obviously one of the munitions got through, broke the wall down, but for the most part, the Tau want to infiltrate this building and just shut off the defenses of the local area here. The uh, Sisters of Battle have to go in and try and reinforce this area here. Again, check it out on War Scenery if you want the SDLs, or go to the Mini Wargaming Forge if you want the physical product itself. Are you ready to play some Warhammer 40k? I am ready to play some Warhammer 40k. <laughs> I like the energy, perfect. Roll out to see who's gotta go first. Ooh, I gotta that's go gonna be first. Tau Turn 1. It's the symbols on the six for anyone curious. I always like to point it out. That's just kind of standard practice these days for dice, but always good to shut it out. And you wanted first turn. Yes, actually I did, for once. For once, yeah. All right, well then it's gonna be Tau Turn 1. Uh, best of luck to you, but better luck to me, please. <laughs> you guys do have a yeah. scout move now. We're gonna quickly resolve and jump right into it. Cool, so uh, I drew Sabotage and Engage on all fronts, and with Sabotage, I think my Pathfinders are gonna attempt to get that one done for me, and Engage on all fronts is looking like a command point today. One more thing to know before we get into Kyle's command phase, the mission rule today is Swift Action, which is the one where battle line units are eligible to perform action still, as long, even if they've advanced or fallen back. So only a we, I think your Breachers are battle line, Yep. and my Sisters battle are battle line in this game, and that's about it. But still, great uh, great mission rule to have in general. 
So in the command phase, we have no shenanigans today. Yep, just we're both gaining a command point going to one. Uh, we're going to proceed to the movement phase where I'm sure you're going to try and line up a bunch of nasty shots on me here. Cool, yep, so we're just going to move the hammer hand up a little, get some through the wall shots, uh, not through the wall, but through the road shots and some rhinos over there. Got my stealth suits there to spot for them. Riptides popped out, get their smart missiles in range, maybe take some pot shots. Uh, Cold Star and suits came out, gonna shoot some missiles into the squad over there, maybe mark something, you know, a little feisty. Devilfish moved up for a turn two, and Pathfinders snuck one guy in to place the bomb for sabotage. Now, before we go to the shooting phase for the Tau, I did forget to roll a miracle die at the start of Kyle's turn here. Just simple. That would be easy if I had a die, I suppose. I don't have that part. La -da 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 -da. We start, ooh, we start off strong. The Emperor gives us a one. Cool, so we're gonna start with the hammerhead guided by some stealth suits right in front of it into the rear rhino. Oh, the one with my cannon S in it way back here. Yep. Understood. So we're marked up. And because it's stealth suits, I believe it's reroll hit rolls and moon rolls of one. Yes. Well, that's pretty consistent. And yeah, the no cover part's a big deal too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Starting with the big rail gun, the fear of the greater good. Good luck. Oh, okay. Uh, well, well, you get to reroll because the marker light. Well, because yep. the stealth suit ability. Can you do it again for me? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's. <sighs> Is that a hit with the Barker Light? Yeah, that's going to be a hit. Nice. Oh. What do you need to wound? Uh, I'm strength 20. Well, that's going to be a two. <laughs> All right. <laughs> two, don't, don't screw it up. Oh, okay, that's not screwing it up. Uh, I got caught up in the moment and didn't say out that my smart missiles are going to hit the, uh, the the peoples over there. I don't know their name. And my seeker missiles are also being fired Just at the battle rhino. sister squad. Just the battle sister squad. Seeker missiles over this way as well. Yep. Well, we're not too worried about this hammerhead uh, pulse rifle, whatever it's called, big dumb gun, because the Emperor protects. That's a four. That's not, that's, no. I need that. That would protect me. How much damage does this big gun do? D6 plus six. Well, why don't you go ahead and roll that up? I only have 10 wounds. So if you roll four, I'm dead. That's a 12 <laughs> damage. Do we succumb to deadly demise? Does it hit something critical? Heck, no, it doesn't. That's two victory points for first strike. And I got to roll for the guys inside because they might uh, not know how to do this song and dance. Alrighty, how many mortals do we suffer? Woo! <laughs> that's a that's a scary amount of, I'll just take a casual six mortal wounds there it's okay luckily 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 we do have a doctor in there because they deploy first take the mortal wounds they have a feel no pain they pop out around the uh, fallen rhino there and uh, we're gonna take six mortal wounds but we got the doctor I have a feel no pain please when I okay that's not bad when I said did you hit something critical I meant like within the engines not the crew compartment so he just smoked three sacrosanes we'll lose him from the back there we go. And then we're also going to go ahead and just lose this guy too. That's fine. All right, got some smart missiles uh, hitting on fives. Oh, good start. Yep. And... Uh, Strength five. Gotcha, yep. There we go. No armor penetration. We got power armor. We're A-OK. -okay. We want to keep shooting big guns. We're going to go to this side of the battlefield where we got broadsides. Yeah. They have big guns. I, I like how you say we want to keep shooting big guns and we walk away from the riptide. <laughs> well, we got, we'll see them later. These are pretty big guns. They're you know? big guns. And they're gonna go, I assume. There's one more rhino remaining. Oh, the repentia right there, that's fair. Got some stealth suits here ready to spot for me. Yeah, let's ignore cover, same reroll nonsense. Uh, smart missiles are also gonna go into your weird repen repen The penitent engines here. Yeah. Them, the walkers, yep. I do have to roll a miracle die for this rhino. I'll do that after the shooting attack is resolved. I just forgot. When things die, get miracle dice. It's like the this is a battle thing. What are we shooting first? Big rail guns into tiny little rhino. That ah, rhino's fine. Rhino's got nothing to worry about. Hey, uh, oh, nice. we're we hitting on threes because marker lights, I assume. Yep, and heavy, so twos. Twos even. Uh, you know what? That's good. <laughs> yep. Threes. That is. Oh, one fail. Three wounds. Okay. We're gonna ignore cover. What's the AP on this uh, railgun? My minus four. Well, we got the Emperor to protect us. No, we don't. What's the damage on that? D6 plus one. All right, so it's three damage plus three D6. Three, seven, 10, 16. That sounds like uh, we're gonna be just fine. <laughs> that sounds like another miracle die for me. Let's see how many of these Sister Repentia can get out of this Rhino. Uh, oh, okay, only one goes down. They might actually have a feel no pain. Oh, and four. oh if I have a feel no pain, I was literally just talking about that. Eh? Nope, not good enough. That is one dead sister. Duty served, congratulations. Get this guy out of here. I know I should roll my miracle dice right away, but it's not overly relevant. Actually, funny enough, it might be. I'll do the first rhino, I would have had a three, and the second round of that died, a one. So I got two ones and a three. 
Now, uh, I'll, I'll show you guys off all the uh, victory points and miracle dice and command points at the end of every battle round, just to keep you guys updated of what's actually going on, because there's a lot to keep track of in games of Warhammer 40k. Now, I should note that you probably, I, I do want to point out that my game plan was a very aggressive approach to the Tau lines, sure, and sure. just going to rush towards you with all my rhinos and vehicles. What rhinos? <laughs> That's my, that was my following statement, but it, the plan required going first. Unfortunately, that plan did not come to fruition, but we're going to adapt uh, or die. <laughs> and then the smart missiles. Where, where were they going? The walkers? Yeah, the yeah, walkers. Yeah. We'll see what happens. We need uh, fives because it's uh, off target. Yeah. Oh, wow. We're just one hit. All right, one hit. No problem. Boom, boom, boom. It is twin linked. Okay. Yeah, good luck. Let's see what you get. Eh, three won't do it. Nope. Just remembering to mark them for being battle shocked. That was a scary thing that just happened. <laughs> Uh, I have a rear devil fish all the way in the back next to the broadsides who's going to indirect into the fresh new targets. Oh, the Sister Repentia here? Yep. Alrighty, how many smart missiles? Just, uh, just six total. Guy, right, bring it on. Is it fives because of indirect? Or is it uh, yeah, fives because of indirect. Couple of hits. Couple of hits. Uh, strength five. Three is to wound. Are they twin linked as well? They are also They're twin linked. All, all two wounds it is. Oh. My own emperor! Oh, with his godly hand, he comes in and grabs that missile and pulls it out of the air. And one damage, which we feel no pain. And then the second one simply just off her rock hard body. <laughs> so we have another devil fish with seeker missiles that are being spotted by some pathfinders into your organ tank. Yeah, my uh, I can, uh, exorcist. I remembered. I know yeah. things. And then, of course, we're going to pepper in some indirect into the Repentia. Oh, that failed last time. It's not going to work this time. We're, we're going to hear that a lot. Indirect into Repentia. Yeah, fair. I mean, that's the, probably one of the best targets on the board for that. What do you want to start with? We'll start with the Seeker Missiles, hitting on threes. How many Seekers you get? Two? Two. Yeah, bring These it on. These are one-shots. A uh, couple hit. of hits. Those are scary. These are high strength, if I recall. Strength 14. That'll be threes to wound. I see Double a wound. Ooh, no. And of course, the marker lights mean no cover, so these are only Emperor saves. Oh, oh. The Emperor is not here on this battlefield today. Was he ever? I don't know. D6 uh, plus one each. Yep. So two plus eight is 10 damage. Not dead. Sitting pretty at one wound. Nice and comfy. No problem. Plus, we're negative one to hit now, but we're plus one to hit and plus one to wound. Ooh, thank you. Ish, because I'm under half strength. <laughs> we'll see if it lasts. Uh, what are we looking at next? Uh, Devilfish indirect into the. Repentia. That's right. There was the uh, four shots, six shots. I mean, fives. Couple hits. Couple hits. Threes to wound with a reroll. Reroll. Oh right, Kabramo! Emperor says you have to use your rock hard bodies to stop this. Nope. There goes two of them. Pop pop. So I have my cold star in one suit is going to try and finish off that tank. The other two miss. I got that backwards. My cold star and one suit are gonna hit these uh, the walkers, the pedestrians, the walkers engines. of doom, and the other two suits who can't see them are gonna try and finish off that tank that we just shot. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, you want to go for the walkers first or the tank first? Let's go for the tank first. And nothing's gonna spot for them. Nothing's gonna spot for them because they have a natural reroll built in. Oh, gotcha. So into the tank, we're only rerolling ones because it's been damaged. Um, it's right. more shots than that. Yeah. <laughs> because each one has two missile pods. Yeah. Yep. All right, ready? Yep. All right, here we go. Fours, is it? Fours, yep. And re-rolling ones, but no ones. Come on. Fives to hurt the tank. One, wo one wounding head, eh? What's the AP over there? Uh, minus one. <laughs> the Emperor protects. No AP on that. We are going to get cover. Because we, all of the other ones were marker lights, so we don't get cover against us. We get cover here. We're going to perform an act of faith and roll a three. We live. And then the cold star and the remaining suit into the penitent engines. Yep, which will get full rerolls to hit because you're a fresh target. Oh, yes, that's true. And then the uh, darker dice. Oh, no, so the lighter dice were the cold star. Nope, darker dice. Oh, cold darker. Star. Gotcha. Yep. Means he's sitting on threes. There's three more hits in there. Rerolling because I have no wounds on me. Excellent. Strength seven means threes. Um... They're going to get cover there because of the rune in front of them. They have a four up save base, so they're back to fours. Yeah! I dramatically rolled two saves. How much damage are those each? Two. Well, we do have a feel no pain. The first three fails would be six damage. If I have a feel no pain, we take instead one, Kyle, and uh, we're gonna roll two <laughs> more. We're gonna, we'll take three out of our five wounds. Put that on the back one here, because I don't think it really matters for them too much. We are left with Riptides, and then we're done, because 
lacking range on the other elements, like the stealth suits don't have range and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, so you still have one more spot with the Pathfinders you can do. And obviously the other things I haven't spotted yet. Actually, but they're the most valuable one. Right, except uh, they both need to see their target, so... Oh, so I see they're shooting down this way and they don't really yep. have... Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, we're also playing... Obviously, like, the standard practice, you can't see, like, the... There, you can't see through the bottom floor of things. Sorry, I didn't explain that earlier, but sometimes that's self-explanatory, but sometimes people are confused. <laughs> so Shadow Sun can spot for the big guy there, and we're going to go for the Exorcist? Yep. Yeah. We're not, obviously, we're not fully behind it. We're just going to get some cover. Behind terrain is for cowards. Right, and also the uh, indirect is going to go into the Repentia. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yep. Do the big shots here first with the cyclic ion. Is that what that's called? No, or am I thinking of a different ion gun? cannon something? Cyclic ion goes on the crisis suits. Yeah, okay, that's what I'm thinking about. All right, all right. Yeah. Fair, fair, fair. All right, roll it up. What do we got? All right, uh, big cannon overcharged, of course. Uh, Those wonderful. look like hits. Beautiful. Looking for fives. That's two. Two? Okay. These are six up saves. Minus four. It's a very hot gun. It's like a big... Wait. I'm sorry. Oh, maybe not. Maybe, maybe, maybe not minus four. Oh, it's only minus three. It means I get a five up because Shadow Sun does not have marker lights. <gasps> does it matter? Didn't even matter. So, what's the damage on uh, that? A flat bet? four. That's where the four comes in. So, we're going to go to. S that's that's eight damage. We have three wounds left. That's math. <laughs> Down to three. And the smart missiles into our sister Repentia. Yeah. Live! Live! Ah, you only have one of those. One hit, I guess? Yes, except Shadow Sun will give me a reroll one aura. Oh, it's an aura. Understood. And um, I have a mod no modifiers to hit, so I can hit on fours. Because it's shooting at a different target? Yep. Yep. So threes to wound. Uh, no need to reroll. So we are looking at Emperor saves here, uh, or six of cover, technically, but Emperor. And then, bah! Feel no pain. Pain. <laughs> Say it with zeal or it doesn't work. You have to understand, guys. <laughs> All right, and then I got a gets hot, of course. Take damage. Nope. No, come on. Do what I say. So a big gun is going into your battle sisters across the board. That's and them. say the mantra with me, smart missiles into the Repentia. Hey, look at that. All right, let's do the uh, ion gun over here first. I assume we're going to supercharge. Is there a value in supercharging it? Your T3. T3 with a three up save. Does the AP go up? AP does go up from two to three. So it means I have a, I'd have a, I probably have some degree of cover on some of the models over here. So if you mm. want. Mm. We'll do it. Yeah. All right. Makes sense. E. Wow, that's, oh, that is wow. Uh, mm. that's a roll. <laughs> we got two hits. <laughs> uh, two's to wound. Six. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kyle. <laughs> What's the matter? You can't kill a sister of battle with a big fancy tail gun? Well, here, let's see if I hurt myself in the process. Oh, I sure you supercharge. Oh, oh come oh. on. No, I wanted more. <laughs> and the smart missiles. Oh, one hit. one hit. Three to wound. Oh, that'll do it. Emperor protects, but does my hard body step in? No, uh, they can only take so much. Your emperor is not here. No, apparently. Then on to the Pathfinders. We should declare they are going to be attempting the sabotage because yeah. uh, that is a piece of terrain they are within that is not in their deployment zone. Uh, this actually goes in line with the story a little bit here that we have going on. They're trying to at least capture or sabotage uh, this command structure. It's underneath. It's underground. It's in the basement, obviously. And uh, yeah, they will complete that at the end of my turn. Upcoming. Then that's, I assume you don't want to do any charging. Uh, no. Nope, that's fair. Uh, that means there's no fighting. Everything is done. We weathered a little bit of the storm. Obviously down a couple of rhinos, but that's what we buy them for. Uh, you do get two victory points for first strike. I mentioned earlier, that is not part of the match play game. I like to add tertiary rules. That's from older editions of the game. I just kind of miss them. Slay the Warlord, first strike, line breaker, all that stuff's in good fun. Uh, and we always have painted armies on mini war gaming. So those like 10 extra points are like, eh, they're gimmies. always there. Yeah, yeah, there's always gimmies, right? So it's, it's fun to play it this way too. And I added up to nine because I keep track of my score with D10s. So showing a nine translates better than showing a zero. That's more of a, for me, you could change the numbers to what the heck ever you want at home. <laughs> that's just, there's, zero to hero? You zero to hero. That's exactly it. That's, uh, that's it for the turn. Not so bad. So you're working on sabotage. I assume you want to discard, engage in all fronts to get that second command point. Indeed I do. And then that means you're going to go to three as we go to my turn and I'll go to two. Orders from high command are telling me to cleanse the area of the Xenos filth. So I have to make sure the Tau cannot stake a claim to any of these objectives. I have to approach them, control them, and cleanse them of their 
of, of, of their corruption, you know, <laughs> whatever that might be. And then area denial is my second order for this uh, round of the battle. So I have to push those pathfinders, again, a very fitting one, push them away from the objective building in the middle of the table. We cannot let the Tau have control of it. No problem. We'll do that. All right, to my command phase proper, I get a miracle die. Ooh, a oh. six. Bless him. Go right over to the hospitaler here. And uh, we use sacred healing. We get to bring back a sacrosanct. But there's an extra clause there. If I discard this one, this miracle die, I get to actually bring back D3 plus one instead. Damn you, Emperor! <laughs> we, we bring two back. <laughs> I like this dude. It's very Necroni. We're going to stand back up. We're not going to do anything too zany with it. We're just going to form up where they kind of died. I owe a couple of battle shocks. Oh, actually, not them. They're at 5 out of 10. But I do owe a couple on the exorcist here. This one here uh, is going to roll an 8, which is a pass. And I'm going to roll for the other exorcist, who's sitting pretty at 1 health, is going to roll a 5. That is... That's a battle shock. And then at the end of my command phase, I roll for the chaplet of sacrifice on my... Penitent? Terribly sorry, my palatine. I don't know why I can't remember her name. She's effectively a space marine lieutenant. Lethal hits... And funny extra rules. Ah, it's not necessarily true. No advancing charge. It's different. Just different, you know? Anyways, I'm going to reroll my one. I have a one in my pool. I have a one and a six. A bam! Okay, you know what? A three is... Well, a three was relevant earlier, so I'm sure I could find a use for a three again. No scoring in the first round here. We're going to go right to the movement phase where we try to enact the plan that we had for turn one where we rush towards your forces just whoosh, up the board. Uh, we're going to see if we can make that work uh, sans two rhinos. My movement phase, pretty simple. Uh, started off with my Repentia moving seven into the Imperial building, uh, the control center in the middle of the board. And then we used an act of faith on our penitent engines to advance an additional six inches to move them 14 towards Kyle's command suit and pathfinders around the building. And then obviously that makes the Tau panic. So they overwatched. Panic, air quote, air quote. <laughs> panicked. They overwatched with that same uh, battle suit squad with all their missile pods and the ion gun on the Cold Star and was able to stick some damage because they still get full rerolls against them because they're still a full starting strength. They didn't miss the model. Uh, I did make a lot of field pains and I died by exactly one wound which caused a deadly demise. A little bit of a chain reaction. Uh, one damage on my sister Repentia, one damage on the Pathfinder squad and that was about it. And it obviously neutering the unit a little bit only at half strength now. Uh, but it does give it bonuses for, you know, the martyred effect of the army. So a little bit of take, a little bit of give. And then after that, there wasn't any much more excitement. Uh, it just brings the, the Tau down to two command points. I choose to keep my exorcists where they are. I kept my one battle sister squad on my objective in the home field, which does remind me they have the simulacrum. I do have to roll for a command, uh, not a command point, but for a miracle die after my movement phase here, just to fix that up. On the other side of the board, my battle sister squad advanced up towards the objective uh, to cleanse it because they are battle line. They're still eligible to perform an action. And then the rest of my stuff was the sacrosanct just moving up to support the repentia on the other side of the building, not being able to advance far enough to get inside of the building. And then my two emulators pivoting and just moving up the board, rushing towards the forces of the Tau. We're good to proceed to shooting here. I do kind of want to start with my Immolation Flamers. They have a rule called Purge and Cleanse against their target's of choice, where they cannot benefit from cover for the rest of the phase after they're hit by an Immolator, which is kind of cool. I didn't actually realize how that works with the Exorcist, where the Exorcist could fire indirectly, and then the enemy I fire at doesn't get the benefits of cover. But they obviously the negative one to hit things still comes into play. We are going to start with this emulator. We're going to fire its emulation cannons into the stealth suits. Uh, they're very important to kill. Uh, the heavy bolter is going to go for them on top of that. Now they do have stealth. i got to remember that. And each emulator has a hunter-killer missile, which is going to go for the Riptide, I suppose. This is an ideal target. We are going to start with the heavy bolters here. Sustained hits on this, hitting on fours, because we have two hits because of sustain, and threes to wound. That is two wounding hits at Ouch. minus one. So we're going to go on the regular guys first. Uh, that is going to pop none. They probably have a three-up save still. Yep. yep. Immolation Flamers are 2d6 automatic hits at strength 6 minus 1. Ignoring cover. 2d6. It's going to be 10. Ooh. What a spicy roll. Three to wound their T4. Ah, uh, it mattered. Stopped a few of them. And these, you have six four-up saves. Good luck. That is going to kill Maybe two, two and some change. That is going to bring him. I mean, yeah, I'll mark him. His shield drone technically dies. Yeah. Yeah. So he's got two wounds left on the, uh, just to mark it that the shield drone's used. He can't benefit from cover if I want to go fire at him with the exorcist, I suppose. I do have to resolve the hunter killer, though. Whoosh. 
Ah, Ooh. it hits. It wounds. A Invulnerable save. Four up. Ooh. Oh, that's not a four. I um, how much damage? I believe it's D6. Let me double check. I'm gonna let it go through. I don't have any fancy miracle dice to make this a six. Always one thing to watch out for. By the yeah. yeah, you scared yeah. me for a second. No, I was like, I would have, I would have warned you. I would have let you know. Yeah, 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 for sure. But that's one thing. It's like, oh, and uh, you're not gonna save it. Ah, uh, six damage. Eat that sucker. Anyways, it's gonna be. Oh, <laughs> I am gonna command point that for. I'll have one command point left and get two. You know what? I'll have doubled your damage. I did 100 percent more damage. Then I gotta select something that doesn't get cover. A ah. Uh, am I gonna shoot this thing with a indirect missile shot? You know what? If you did, I'd be okay with it. I would like to kill him, though, because it is two victory points to kill Ina right away. I'm, I'm eyeballing the, the them over there. I'm going to say, just in case, we're going to mark the... Uh, we'll mark him. He doesn't get the benefits of cover for this phase. Before I go any further, i got to remember to roll for the simulacrum over there. A miracle die. Would I have gotten one? I would have. And? Would have been a one. All right. I don't think it's going to matter too much for now, but they also provide sticky objectives, defenders of the faith. Uh, Battle Sisters, specifically. Moving on to the second emulator, obviously want to put pressure on the stealth suits. Uh, so we're going to do the same split fire, heavy bolter, emulation flamers that way. They are 18 inch range. And then the hunter killer missile. If I can see the riptide, I don't think I can. We'll go there. Otherwise, we're probably going to put it into the suit unit just to get some damage on the suits. Yeah, we got eyes on the riptide. So we'll do the hunter killer first. Get out of the way. Ooh, got that. That's a hit. Uh, that's a wound. Save, the exact same roll I got last time. Four invulnerable saves. Is it a five up or a four up? Four up. Four up. E oh, yeah. Like that. Good. Didn't matter what it was. And then the heavy bolters into the stealth suits on fours because of stealth. And a three to wound. That is a wounding hit at minus one. But you do have, you are in cover, so just back to a three up. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're good. You get ten hits again with the immolation. Oh, I can. Oh. Threes to wound them. That is going to be seven saves this time. Minus one, ignoring cover. Good luck. Fours. That is dead. Wow. Oh, only one wow. dead. That's not bad. I like it. It's a really tough call because I want to make sure I get these Pathfinders dead, but I don't want to overdo it. I got a couple melee units. I can carve them up pretty good. There's nine Pathfinders. I am going to go with the Penitent and fire into the stealth suits with the twin Penitent Flamers. 36 automatic hits. It's going to be seven, which is never bad. Three is to wound, twin linked. We have Ooh. three wounds so far uh, with two more. So five wounds, which ignore cover, but there's no AP. Just three ups. Oh, I got one. Nice. Yeah, yeah. You get to keep your leader, though. The note I'm going to choose for him to be the target for the emulator as well. So both of the stealth suit units don't have, cannot benefit from cover for this phase. This Battle Sister Squad is going to start their action to cleanse this objective for this turn. I just want to say that before I forget to note that. Then I'm left with this Battle Sister Squad and the two Exorcist results. So I'm going to take whatever bolter shots I have that are in range to this Pathfinder Squad here. It's coming over here for a better point of view. Uh, these four models, sorry, these three models can't see. So it's going to be one, two, because that's a melting gun. Uh, three, four, five bolt guns and a melting gun firing that way. I'll do the melting gun first and then the five bolters afterwards. Multi-melt, I should say. The melting gun's too, too far away. I'm going to just use the cherub now. Uh, I'm going to perform an act of faith with them. The melting gun's got two shots. I'm going to make one automatically hit on a three, and this one has to roll. They both hit because of heavy, and there's no stealth involved. And they have the cherub. So whenever I, once per game, I get to roll another miracle die. I, I recycle a miracle die. So I get a three becomes a four. And we are going to go ahead and remove that. So I remember. Who's to wound the Pathfinders unless they're minus one to wound? Or is that just breacher teams? That's just breacher teams. These are two at minus four. I don't, I can't even yeah. imagine they even have a nope. <laughs> boom. They don't get fancy bolter discipline. So they only hit on um, uh, threes. Uh, they, they, they have rapid fire on them. So that's a lethal hit because of the Palantine. Uh, with another wound on top of it. Regular saves with cover. Uh, uh, save them both. That'll do it. We'll start with this exorcist. Uh, it's on its last legs, as well as the other one is. So we're going to do its hunter killer missile. You have to excuse the old models. They never um, never had heavy, heavy bolters back in the day. So the hull mounted heavy bolter is just uh, uh, pops out of one of the side hatches and fires. <laughs> Definitely going to do hunter killer missile and I guess heavy bolter onto the riptide because there's no other real targets to go for. And then the, the missile rack. It's an interesting one. I'm going to put the Exodus Missile Launcher into him as well. I really, really want to kill this guy, but it's just so designed to pop these. The other missile option is good for clearing out hordes of dudes, but 
it's going with the old model, going with the old weapon. So let's do the heavy bolter first for some dramatic effect. Whoosh, bang, 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 bang. So we, we were minus one to hit because we're damaged. We're plus one to hit because uh, the martyred abilities. We're just back to hitting on threes. And uh, normally fires to wound, we get plus one to wound. So force. It mattered. One and minus one. And you should have... Three up? Yeah. Oh, you're good. The exorcist missiles, the D6 plus two shots. Ooh, six shots. Threes to hit normally. Uh, so back to threes because it's plus one to hit, negative one to hit. Ooh, only two hits. Did I do the right amount of dice? Five shots? Yeah. And these are threes to wound, but plus one for twos. Two wounding hits right here, Invuln. Invuln. Uh, five. That's kind of cocked. I should probably reroll that one. Nah, that's five. That's sure? good. All, right. All good. Like the majority facing for me. I'm not too picky. Uh, unfortunately, zero damage. We do have the hunter killer missile we could try with. It does hit. It does wound. Right back to an invulnerable save. Ah, cranking him. Well, let's try that again one more time. Uh, he did get hit by my missiles. He does have to do a battle shock check, if that matters. I guess roll it up, and if you want to use a reroll later, you can't. If you fail, an eight, you pass. Yeah. This very hurt exorcist is going to fire the hunter killer missile at the command squad. The heavy bolter is going to go for the uh, Pathfinder team, and then the missile launcher. Oh, man, I would love to pop. Just like that guy off that objective would be a big deal too. I'm gonna go for that guy. Ooh, okay. I know it's, I just don't wanna do it. If I, if I had done a little bit of damage with this one into that Riptide, then I'd feel more confident going for it. But I don't know, it's just, I could one shot it though. And he made so many invulnerable saves. No, <laughs> I'm gonna go for the, the stupid guy over there. Cause I want to, uh, no, uh -oh. Uh, uh oh, I'm so conflicted because it uh -oh. denies you victory points if I do it. I'm gonna go for him. Yeah, I'm gonna go for him. Oh, like it guarantee kills him anyways, but I mean, pretty much. It's pretty good. Let's do the heavy bolter first. Uh, these are not negative one hits. They actually all do hit, and uh, twos to wound because of plus one to wound. But two wounds at minus one, and you have cover. So fours kills one. Hunter killer missile into the battle suit team. Oh, unfortunately, it zips right past him and misses. Oh, and then D6 plus two missiles into the, the stealth suit. It's going to be five shots. Missiles hitting on threes to fours to threes. Ah, see, I'm not, I'm not upset about targeting him now. Twos to wound. Two of them are going to wound. You don't get any cover, and it's AP three, so it should be six ups. Yep. Uh, five and a two. Well, that's uh, as, as long as they're one damage each, we got them. So even if we roll minimum damage. Well, he has three wounds. Oh no! He's got the stupid uh, guardian drone. There we go. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Get out of here. That's my two victory points for first strike. Uh, then we're done shooting. We can go right to the charge phase. We're going to keep it nice and easy. The Repentia are going to go for the Pathfinder team. They're going to make it. They go eight. Uh, one of them is a uh, little full of zeal and has to break through the building to, uh, or just go jump through the window to go for that one there. Then our penitent engine, who can't advance in charge, will declare a charge. I'm going to go for both the command suit, the command suit and the pathfinder team. I'm going to use an act of faith to roll a four plus a five. We're going to go nine inches. It's going to charge into both there. Excellent. Very good. Very good. I don't, ah, uh, you don't, ooh, I'm going to try. I should have saved that die there. I'm going to use a emulator here to charge into the suits as well. I need obviously a really high charge, but if I make it, I can tank shock and I'll be on the objective. What do I need? Oh, that's a terrifying idea. It looks like it's uh, probably a about a 10. Is it within 10? It's maybe a nine. Yeah. Yeah. I think Let's, uh, if, uh, if we want to make it, we want to make it. You see, if you say nine, we roll nine. The nine will work. We'll get within an inch there onto the objective, and we will tank shock them for a command point. Toughness 10 on an immolator. That will deal two, three mortal wounds on the way in. Everyone they got lots sisters. of wounds, lots of wounds on these ones. Do they all have uh, shield drones or? Uh, everyone has one shield drone. Gotcha. Just gives them like a fourth, fifth wound, is a it? A fifth wound. A yep. fifth wound, yep. So we got one guy down to two wounds. That is it for my charging. I mean, you have enough to interrupt. I don't know if you will. I'm just going to go with my Repentia here first. I don't have any command points to do fun Repentia things, but we do get plus one to hit. Repentia Superior will attack first. It does grant the three remaining Sister Repentia Overseer of Penance, I believe. They, they get to reroll their hit and wound rolls, but not the Superior. Neural Whips! <laughs> we hit on twos because we're under our starting strength. Uh, no lethals or anything. Anti-Infantry four up. One wound at minus one on a Pathfinder team. 
Minus one, we're looking at a five. Five. Eat it and die, scum. We got the penitent eviscerators hitting on four or threes to hit with rerolls. I'm not gonna be super greedy. I'm gonna keep the this hit roll here. Reroll that to a miss, but we do have three sustained hits. Uh, and these are strength six. I assume two is to wound? Yes. And we are gonna not need any single reroll. So those three models. I need more dice. Oh yeah. Eight wounds of minus two. Sixes? Sixes. I kill six of them. Yeah, that's all. And that is the end of them. Look at that. Oh, that feels like <sighs> cleansed. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> ah, no, we could consolidate towards them, but I'm too afraid of them actually doing damage. Well, the one model would make it, but the rest, uh, no, I don't want them under the runes. Though. I'd rather stay where I am. It's the only unit I actually have on an objective right now. It's not actually going to live for that long, but you know what? A man can dream. That means I'm free to attack with... Well, I'm just gonna, I assume you don't want to interrupt. No. So this emulator is just going to get that a little bit closer, base contact that one model, and hit you with our armored bulk. Four is to hit with our three attacks. Oh, they all hit. What toughness are you? Six? Five. Oh, three's to wound. Two wounds, no AP. I'd love to kill that model so no. bad. You're good. <laughs> and then the penitent engine with the flails. We are going to have eight attacks here. Three's to hit because we're below starting strength. Uh, no re-rolls, but we have two sustains. So only one miss in the end. Five, four is to wound? I think I said I'm strength five? Yeah. Yep. Uh, ooh, but they're twin length, luckily. Wow. Ah, much better. There we go. Uh, no plus one to wound because we're never under half strength, though it made me realize that buying them in singles might be better for the build I have here. Four minus one. Four ups? Just the wow, one damage. Yeah. You're good. I would have loved to kill that soup, but that guardian drone kept it alive. Shield drone, but you know. That's shield drone, that's right. Well, I think that's it for me. You can retaliate. You're going to punch my penitent engine here. I think I get three attacks per suit. Normal suits first, punching on fives. Good, good, good. Strength six. Oh, that um, T. I'm T six, so those have five wounds. T six, and then the cold star. Yeah, he punches. Not not no. as good. Not on nope. threes, I assume. Okay. I go to fours, which Ooh. is crazy for Tao. That's pretty good. That's impressive. Yeah, yeah. He trains a little bit more than the rest. He yes. has the time to. Obviously, he's an officer. <laughs> <laughs> and that is going to be the end of my turn. Really, we have successfully cleansed this objective. The only cleansing one I believe is worth two points. And then area denial, I think I got the minor version of it because these guys might be a little close. The middle is right about here. So we'll have to double check that now. So it's easy enough to determine nothing's within three of the edge of the objective control. So yes, I'm within three of it. Nothing else is within six. So we have gotten five victory points there, two victory points over here, but it does mean we're not gonna gain an extra command point. And I stopped the sabotage on top of that for the sisters. So as we're at this end of the first round, here is the update. I have sec seven secondary points, two tertiary, and then Kyle just has the two tertiary because we stopped the sabotage and our current command points as we go to the second round of the game. This is uh, what I used to keep track of by score. I always like to let people know, but if you're familiar with it, you can just skip ahead. Uh, the top row are the tens for primary, second row the tens are secondary and i always just keep track of my tertiary on the bottom row there things like this have many more available on the mini war gaming forge if you like something physical to keep track of your score with this turn i've drawn marked for death which was marked battle sister sister with shields and other battle sister yeah ideal targets for i want you to go for them but it'll be a little bit harder yeah and then um i still have sabotage because my bomb was disarmed sad gladly easily disarmed by the sister repentia as they cut down the Tau Pathfinders. <laughs> yep. Already showed off our command point growth. Uh, again, the march for that targets the Sacrosants, Battle Sisters on the objective, Battle Sisters on the objective. If any one of those three units die, Kyle gets five victory points. I have to roll a miracle die. Hey, a six. I forgot to show you the dice I had remaining. I had a one in the pool. Not that exciting. We do have one Battle Shock here before we go to the end of the command phase. And yeah, so I'm just gonna make that auto pass. All right, you'll go down to two command points. It's smart. You get to use the marker lights for them still. And this is an L this build this building here is uh, sabotageable. It is a lot of munitions in this building, so sabotage it. Blow all my spare munitions up. Get some extra victory points for the Tau side. But once per game done there, I think it's uh, valid use. And here we go to moving. Well, we're going to move that devil fish up. We do have to do a little bit of scoring for your side of things as well. Oh, right. uh, This home objective doesn't actually matter for the primary objective. This will only come into play for secondary, so that's why there's no one defending it. And I was able to wrestle control of that one away from you. So no primary scoring for the Tau on turn two. 
So with the broadside scoot up, they got eyes on the prize, baby, and Kyle is well aware of the boom I can force the emulator to do, because they have a command point to auto pass deadly demise. Breachers jump out of the devilfish with the Cadre Fireblade. Is this the exemplar of the Kalyun, or is that the other one? That's the exemplar. This is the exemplar. So it's turn two, so his Kalyun is active, which is, is this sustained hits on? Sustained hits two. Two, right. Because it normally triggers on the third turn for everything. Yep. Uh, Devilfish number two is going to fly up and over right up against the building onto the objective. And I assume we're going to poop out some uh, filthy Xenos. Uh, because I pivoted, I'm going to actually have to advance. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, and then we add? Four. So four. that'll get me there. Gotcha. Oh, because like that you couldn't actually land there yep. because of the pivot. I understand. Well, then uh, we'll count ourselves happy. And uh, that's just a unit for turn. They, they don't, I mean, they, they pop out on turn three in Kalyan anyway, so. Well, I mean, if I really wanted, I can get out after the Devilfish advances because we're cool like that. That's just, that's just that's how nonsense. Yeah. So Dave, Dave, somewhere Dave just like got angry. <laughs> Here come. Wow, that Riptide is just saying, what's up? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Riptide numero two. Hello. Del suit is gonna go ahead and prepare to sabotage the building, but also gonna draw some line of sight so that we can uh, spot. Hammerhead comes up and creeps out around the corner, eyeballing the rest of the battlefield here. We were pondering on bringing in Farsight or not, but we're gonna save it for my turn two with the potential rapid ingress instead. I like it, it makes sense. Uh, I think we're good to go to shooting. I should, I also feel compelled to point out, I don't normally play Sisters of Battle. I do it for the people at home who get want some Sisters of Battle content. I'm a very casual Sisters of Battle player, so you'll have to forgive me, this is the first time I'm playing with a codex, and I threw together this list in 20 minutes with my favorite models. So if you're judging my list a little bit, well, Keep in mind, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Excuse my moment of insecurity there. <laughs> <laughs> Join the greater good, and the moment of insecurity can be shared by all. <laughs> Everyone can share our insecurities. Uh, let's do shooting. I think there's not much to do at the end of the movement phase. No. This, I won't say it now. He's going to start sabotaging, just in case we forget to say it later. Yep. Get that out in the open. And uh, we'll figure out uh, the efficiency path here for the town. Uh, so Shao Sun's gonna, oh yeah, Shao Sun's gonna put her fusion blasters into your walker thing I'll never remember the name of, and then okay. she's gonna put the small stuff into your repentia. Yeah, what's the small stuff? Smart missiles, or? Uh, two smart, uh, two missiles, like light missile pod, and right. uh, a flechette launcher, which is an amazing word to say. Oh, flechette, yep, that's, flechette. uh, she's supposed to have two fancy drones. She does, that's what gives her a reroll one aura and a minus one to be wounded when shot. Gotcha. All right. Yep. Starting with the fusions. Pew, Hit, pew, pew. Hitting on twos because she's Shadow Sun. Does she ignore modifiers by any chance? Because it is shooting into combat. Right. Big guns never tire. We'll give it a modifier. I just one hit. That's not bad. Strength 10. Uh, that's a three to wound. We're T6. That's a six. That one. I am going to fail my save. D6 plus two. Oh, six. six. I have a feel no pain. I'd like to make two of these. Oh. <laughs> I'll make five. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, because it's like, it's, you get the, you get that feeling of like, what is going on here? But if Shadow Sun just like failed to wound or didn't hit, he'd be like, oh, okay, move on to the next yeah, one. Okay. It's the five field of pain. He's like, holy <laughs> crap. Into the Repentia with the light missiles. Nice. Is it like D two D six? Is that just one shot each? Yes. Yeah, oh, okay. Just two hits. Gotcha, I gotcha, wish. gotcha. I'm like, am I about to take 12 hits? <laughs> That's um, not a wound. This yeah. will wound. What's the, yeah. uh, uh, no AP on the light. Then we have a failed save. And how much damage? Two damage. Well, here is my feel the pains. You slay that model. Yeah. We're gonna lose the uh, outlier there. Flushette launcher. Flushette. Uh, that Ooh. should all hit. Yeah, that looks good. Strength three, so fours. Fours, yep. I, that was the weirdest roll I've ever done <laughs> in my life. We got one wound, two wounds. I only got three models left. Ooh, no AP. I kind of want to put on the Sister Superior now Ooh. because she's got a three up save. So I'll repent to Superior. Oh, she rolled a two. And she dies. And then the uh, Repentia fails it and does die as well. So we got one Repentia left. She is nice and safe in there. Uh, broadsides into your Rhino with Flamers. My emulator. Spotted by this double fish. Okay, that works. Well, that, does that, it doesn't have marker lights, does it? No. No. Okay. Fair. Two real guns. Real guns. Uh, you get bonuses to hit vehicles with this by chance? Oh, those nope. ones miss. Oh, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's gross. <laughs> well, you see the smart missiles are going indirect into the Repentia in the building. It's, it's the mantra. It's smart the mantra. Smart missiles into the Repentia. So if we don't mention smart missiles going somewhere, they're just going for the Repentia. <laughs> we got a couple hits with the rail guns. And, uh, ooh. Ooh. 
I'm gonna try and command point one of those, down to one command point, the three will cut it. D6 plus one damage, it's gonna be a six up save because it's minus four even if I had cover. We roll a four, so we're gonna suffer the damage. Six plus one. About six. Ooh, six it is. We got four wounds left. And sitting pretty at four. And then we have the smart missiles into the Repentia. Oh, thank good hits. Oh, that's pretty good. Fives to hit here and uh, well, threes to wound the reroll. Ooh, we're probably dead. Well, well, well. Emperor, hello? Oh, how about four feel no pains? Make two. We're actually rolling quite a bit of feel no pain rolls here. That is a dead Repentia. That's a miracle die though. We're gonna roll that up right now and we get a five in our pool. Thank you for your service. You may now jump into the loving embrace of the God Emperor of Mankind. I, I, all I can picture is every smart missile just zooming through the window. Just go <laughs> pew, 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 So we have two Seeger missiles from the Devilfish going into your Flamer Rhino. The Burst Cannon into the Flamer Rhino. And the smart missiles are going to come way over here to finish this thing off. Uh, this, or at uh, least try to. No, it's finishing off. The okay, thing. fair for the Exorcist then. Eh? And nothing's in spot for it, I assume? Nope, because it spotted for someone. Oh, that's true. I forgot I just did that. Is there any... This is the last Seeker missiles in the list? Yes. Yes, the last two. All right. Yep. Uh, you want to start with them? Yeah, let's do All it. Right. Do it up. Should be fours. Fours because of big guns. That is a four and a four. Well, that's pretty spicy. Yeah. And strength 14. Threes to wound. Two, one of them. And the emperor protects. Boom. We save against that miracle. That's ours. We have a five and a one left. My hypothetical roll. Ah, see, look. Four shots from the burst cannon. Same target. Yep. Three hits. Probably fives to wound if I had to guess. Strength six. Strength six. Yep. Oh, Ooh. two. Is it twiddling to anything? No. Yeah. Think we're going to chip and paint? Ooh, one damage. Nice. <laughs> Three wounds left, and then the smart missiles coming over here because the Repentia are dead. Where else are they going to go? Uh, should be five stick or four stick because of indirect. I assume everything hits on threes on that tank. Oh, no. We're Tau. We hit oh, fours. So five stick over here then. Not bad. Okay, good start. Three of them. Uh, we're your strength five on those? These yes. are sixes to wound then. Oh, and... he got it. Are they are they not twin linked on this they one? They are not twin linked. Oh, okay. The five and a one for my miracle dice. I don't want to use the five here. I want to you say the five. The five for damage and wounding is pretty good. So I'm gonna use a regular roll. I'll You're keep good. I'm, I'm yeah. gonna count it. It's a four. Yeah, we're good. Thank you, Battle Sister, for catching that for me. I'm trying to figure out the puzzle how to crack this emulator wide open. Uh, we're thinking the breachers were lined up to try and obviously smoke the retributors inside, but it's proving a little more stubborn than that. So I assume we're just going to breach her the side yes. of it down. Oh. Spotted by the uh, cold star. So we're getting lethals today and sustained twos. So you're dying. Yeah, we're probably dying here. And there's a marker light. Well, not that the there is no cover. <laughs> 30 bullets, uh, which should be threes to hit. Well, fours with the negative one again. Twos, actually. Oh, twos? Why? <laughs> shotguns. Oh, fair. Is there any negatives to hit for shooting into the combat, though? Oh, yeah, so threes. Threes, okay. Yeah. Overall, lots of hits, lots of sustains because of the exemplar of the Kaldeon. And these are lethal from the spotting. Oh, true. We are on an objective as well, so rerolling the wound here, too. <laughs> Brutal. Oof. Six wounding hits. And some more. Okay, okay. Is that seven, eight, yeah, nine? Nine wounding hits at minus one with no cover. <sighs> Four ups. I got to pass a lot of these. Ooh. Oh, oh. Four <laughs> fails. Four fails. That was close. Even if I command point one of these, I'm dead, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. good. I was like looking over, I could command point and make it a five to pass, but we're off by a little bit. Now we do explode here. We're gonna spend a command point. That is going to be on sanctified immolation. Uh, the enemy must perish. And if so, we will perish with them. The enemy must burn. And if so, well, we'll burn with them as well. We do not roll deadly demise. That automatically happens. And we just automatically inflict mortal wounds to everything within six. It's D3 on an emulator. So it'll be Devilfish, Breacher Team, uh, Command Suit Team, uh, my Penitent Engine. And I don't think the Devil. I think the Devilfish and Shadow Center are outside of six. And I get a Miracle Die. Oh, another six. Well, let's go ahead and start with your breacher team. They're no, going to lose two. I, I'll accept that. Two of them go down. The ah, we'll do the devil fish next. It'll suffer a single mortal wound. Twelve remaining wounds. Let's do the commander's uh, team. Only one, but that will finish off the suit, which I'll take. They don't have deadly demise randomly, do they? No. No. Okay. That'd get crazy. Sometimes, like, well, so, like sometimes, like units of little vehicles have it. They only do like yeah. a single damage, like. Uh, Killer cans and stuff like that. Let's do my penitent engine. Obviously, he's gonna burn with them too. I suffer both. He's got two wounds left. That's killable. Go. And then we have our retributors who are gonna pop out, but they're gonna pop out battle shock. We're gonna disembark there. We lose our immolator. 
They're battle shocks, so they can't contribute to the objective. Not that they'd hold it anyways. And I have to roll to see how many mortal wounds they take. Five checks. No damage. Nice. All right, well, that's all resolved. And then we still have quite a bit of shooting, obviously. Yeah, so it's going to go into the new squad that just popped out. Just everything into them? Yeah. Who's going to spot for them? If anything wants to spot for them. Is this Devilfish shot yet? But he advanced. He, yep, he advanced. And I don't think I want that. And the Hammerhead's going to spot there, eh? Yep, so Hammerhead's going to spot for this Crisis Suit into these guys because... Yeah. They need the help, probably. Probably. So, so we're going to fire everything from that Crisis Suit team, which is uh, a lot of missile pods and one cyclic like ion blaster. Yeah. yeah. So we'll start with the base suits. Hitting on fours because of spotting and not bad. You get full rerolls because I'm at a... Yeah. Yep. I'm at full strength, so I would have liked to lose a model there. That helped. to give you one more hit. Yeah. Twos to wound, I assume, is strength seven. Strength seven. Ooh, uh, spicy. Minus one. Minus one. Four ups. Ooh, that smokes three of them, four of them. Before I pull them, we we'll, might as well do the rest of the, the commander firing at them. I only have a melting melter left, so it's There's not the too missiles. bad. There's the missiles. Commander Four? shoots better. Oh, he hits better, that's right. Rerolling, because they're still full strength. And, uh, yep. Yeah, so... What's, oh, two stabooms as well. Yep. Woo! Minus one. And boom! I make one, <laughs> fail three. That is a miracle die. One, thank you. It ebbs and it flows, you know? The gifts of the Emperor, that is. They were not blessed today. They died. Very horribly. To this side of the battlefield, we have a few big pieces to resolve over here still. What are we thinking? Yeah, so we're going to start with the hammerhead shooting into your flame rhino. With uh, yes. indirect going into your battle sisters. These ones right seconds? here? Yeah. Yep. That, that, but they are battle sisters. That is an emulator. 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 It, I don't, it's okay if you don't remember, though. <laughs> but yeah, well, if I just make it go away, I don't need to remember. Ah, exactly. There's only one more to deal with. So we do the hammerhead shot first. Big cannon, big gun. Boom. It's oh, I, it felt like I interfered there a little bit, but he gets <laughs> rerolls anyways. A built-in reroll? It, it plus one to hit vehicles, so it does hit. Yep, yep. And uh, two to wound? Strength. Two to wound. Yeah, it's probably, I think I'm only T10. See, this is why I spot with the stealth suit, because I'm going to roll one. Oh. oh. <laughs> uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, act of faith that. But what's your... Oh, you're... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kyle, I got to do it. No, that's fair. That's, use your rules. <laughs> Kaboom! Just some <laughs> some beam of light deflects the rail cannon shot. It Oh, it, it absolutely did. And then all of the indirect fire into Dude, these, uh, guys. these guys over here. These gals, I should say. That's true. It, uh, uh, fours? Uh, well, fives because it's indirect. Yeah. And then, is it twin linked? Um, I don't think so. Oh, one wounded is then. One hey! We're good. Hey! We got the two Riptides remaining. What are we thinking? Riptide one is going to put its um, big ion cannon into the ex Exorcist. Exorcist. Back there. Um, overcharging, of course. Then the small arm, well, small compared to a big ion cannon, is going into the battle sisters in front of it. Just more smart missiles and stuff? Yeah, more smart missiles. Alrighty, uh, big gun first? Big gun first. No Always spot. big gun first. Do you want to spot with that guy just to do it? Just to have someone to spot? No, because the stealth suit's going to spot for him into that one. Oh, okay, this one's going to operate independently. That works. Yeah. That works. Hit on fours. Uh, well, you. two hits. Not ideal. No. I mean, uh, spotting wouldn't have helped that much either. That's true, spotting wouldn't help. I always like to look at it that way, too. Does the rule matter? Nope. <laughs> Strength 8. So... Ooh, not a single one. We are T10 or Makes 11 sense. on that thing, even. Do I hurt? And the hazardous roll is passed. Smart missiles. Fours. Okay. okay. That's a hit. Three to wound. Boom. Does this, this one has... Oh, it doesn't need it. You got a wound anyways. Yep. And do we save? Yes, we do. Oh, we got this one stealth suit who can spot, and this one riptide who can shoot. And I told you I knew what I was going to do, and I'm going to change it right on the spot. I like it. Good. What's the plan? Uh, we're going to actually put everything from this Riptide into this suit, or these sisters. Yep. Spotted by the suit. Who's going to spot that one girl out there who just got herself, it's got a little dot on her now. Oh, that's bad. So it's reroll rolls one, reroll wound rolls one, and plus one to hit. Yes. And ignoring cover because he has a marker light. Yes. Marker light and the shield drum. And um, your armor three? They are three up, yep, three up save on them. So I will overcharge. Get better AP. Yep. Bring it on. Threes. Hey, good start. Oh, reroll even better. 
Oh, yeah. perfect Oh, hit. man, if it's turn three. Nope, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> it's only turn two. Leave it's me alone. It's coming, though. Twos. Um, oh. Yeah, that's, that's... These are going to be five... Minus three, you said? Minus three. Well, they do have some cover. No, you ignore it. Uh, no. Minus right. I got six of saves. The Emperor protects none of my ladies. They go down. One, two, three, no, don't four, take those ones. five, six. We're left with our Flamer Flamer Champion Simulacrum. Oh, and the Smart Missiles, of course. Uh, these should be threes also to hit. Rerolling ones. One reroll. Nice, nice, nice. Three, two, one, two, three roll. Because that guy, that one should be twin linked on the uh, Riptide. Yes, it is. Okay, just one of them. Uh, should be any AP on that? No AP. Three up it is. <gasps> hey. Or was that earlier? Overcharge. Cool. You're A-OK. -okay. So for shooting, oh, we are going to see a charge here. Yes, Riptide into your battle sisters. Well, they choose to hold. Okay. <laughs> they, they won't. They it's will. coming. You're going to be taken by Tau. That I, should get me in. I hope I uh, hope that's not the case. That's a tank shock. Here we go. Uh, toughness nine. That's your last command point. Nine days coming at him. Yeah. Five and sixes. Here it comes. Oh, They're all dead. They're gone. They're oh, out of here. They are just run down. Step, step, step. That's step, five step. points. And that is going to be... Also, a yeah, that's five victory points for killing them. That's a big deal. That's a good targeting. Good, uh, good try deciding to change it up, and I get a miracle die. Oh, bam, a five. That was almost a one. It was, and then a charge here. Well, wow. yeah. take six that will, models. Yeah, six will definitely do it. And that's going to be tough to deal with a double riptide on this objective. Just kind of countering what I was able to do to you back. Yeah, not really able to score any victory points this turn because nothing's on the. I don't have anything on the middle oh, objective. Yeah, you wow. killed me off that objective, and you got me off this objective here too. Very good, very good. And you got the five points on the secondary four, marked for death. Yeah, I'm very happy with the performance of that Riptide. Yeah, that was a uh, good overall. Like you really kind of brought this shooting phase back together here. You do yeah, get to right? fight me here still. Yeah, so a little bit scared. Uh, fours? Or no, no, no. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have my armor to tracks. I hit on fours. Uh, that's, no, it's only strength six. Would have actually fought first over here, which of course I will do. Eight attacks with his twin flails. Threes to hit, because we are a little hurt. Uh, those don't do anything, there's no sustains. And fours to wound, twin linked. So far, two. Uh, only four at minus one. Minus four, or minus four, oh my. Saving on fours. Oh, three oh. damage. Almost got a suit. A couple wounds left on one of them. Not so bad, and that is the end of the turn. Excuse me, I may be Tau, but I will fight back. Oh, that's true, I forgot, you get to fight back over here. I only have two wounds left, it's actually scary. And... Normal suits. Oh, uh, a hit. A hit. A wound. Oh yeah, that's wound, and then roll up the commander as well. Uh, commander. Two hits, and... Um, I need to look at a Shadow Sun roll. Oh, absolutely. Back. Shadow Suns are his only ranged attacks. For real ones. Hey, another wound. That's enough yeah. to kill him. Four up saves. Pass both. Double okay. six. Yeah, it's because <laughs> I said it was failable. And then we end the turn. Well, we know you get five points for marked for death. That's very scary. And this guy is starting to sabotage. So we got to not let that be a thing on this upcoming turn. It's going to be kind of tough, though. Yeah. Now, because we probably want a lot more command points in this third battle run for the tower, you're going to scrap sabotage. Absolutely. Yep. I that threw it on the ground, even. <laughs> This guy's pretty easy pickings uh, with the emulator there. So with that, you get an extra command point. You're going to go on to two command points on my turn. I'll be at one command point. And the score is very minimal. Uh, I have seven secondary points still, and Kyle has five secondary points. We have the two tertiary. No primary points yet. We're having a hard time, guys. Yeah. Drawing two new cards on this turn. Defend Stronghold. That's nice and easy. Got to keep it real where I am, nice and relaxed. And... Just do the same thing for Kyle's turn. Secure No Man's Land. I have to control at least one of the objectives in No Man's Land for two points. I could easily achieve that. Uh, scoring two objective in No Man's Land is going to be a little bit more difficult, but is still achievable. Uh, namely, it'd be the Sacrosans walking into the middle, kind of hanging out in that area. And then I would need my retributors in this emulator, as well as the emulator, kind of make some work happen on this side. Because if they could disembark onto the objective, and I can punk this Riptide, then I'll have control of this objective, because this guy's, uh, they're OC4. And I got a lot of guns over here that could do it. Both my Exorcists are alive. They kind of didn't hit the mark last turn, but that's why they have this turn to make it work. Uh, as we go on to my turn, I'm going to roll an additional Miracle Die. I'm going to farm up a three. In the command phase, we get one of our Sacrosans back. Aha. No need to sacrifice the dice to get more. We're okay with this. I think I go to battle shocking now. So this exorcist is 
I have no idea what their leadership is. It is a fail, the battle shock, but that's okay. I don't really, I don't think I needed that model for anything in particular. Uh, the other exorcist is gonna roll. Again, I don't really need to use Miracle Dice. We should be okay, seven passes. And then this squad here is gonna try and farm a command point. Not a command point, a Miracle Die with the Simulacrum on the objective. Four up. Then we go to the end of the command phase proper, no scoring any of the objectives, sadly. We got muscled off of them, so we can go right to the movement phase. First things first, disembarking the retributors from the emulator. They'll disembark, they'll move, the emulator's just gonna, ah. The emulator staying in combat is like a negative one to hit for anything else shooting at him, but the emulator's got a lot of good shooting as well, so I will, off, it's probably worth offsetting the negative one to hit, we're gonna keep it in combat. The sacrosans are gonna move right into the building here. I had to, I think I also have to kill this Devilfish to force the Breachers out and move. So that if I kill this Riptide, if they move, I could overwatch them with my Emulator. Maybe it's all a bunch of dreams, or maybe <laughs> I do a charge with the Sacrosanct. This is, uh, it's a stretch. We're definitely looking for stretches. I kind of lich pinned on that Devilfish right now. I know, that Devilfish is uh, in, in a good way. Plus I also have the, well, I guess I have the objective currently, but it's also on the objective, which could help. Okay, well, I think that's kind of it for moving the Exorcist. Don't really need to move. I guess I will. I do want you not to be right in the middle of me here, so I'm gonna scoot them in just a little bit to get a little bit closer, but then you just pop in over here. That doesn't really matter. I'll go like that. I'm gonna measure a couple things. We're gonna rapid ingress far sight as well as his uh, team of command uh, suits way back here to be a problem for later. If As if I don't already have enough freaking problems on this board. Emperor help me, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to start shooting with this Penitent Engine. It's going to put his twin flamers into the Breacher team over there who decided to poke their ugly heads out of that Devilfish. 2d6 automatic hits. 7. I'll never scoff at 7. I love the average. And 3s to wound, but they are twin linked. Uh, ooh, only 3 so far. And can I get more? Oh yeah, 7. 4 uh, up save. Ow. Oh, we got four of them. All right, that's not bad. Killed one earlier or two earlier or something. So we're, we're, we're dwindling them. Obviously, it's not going to... It just reduces their, you know, hitting power. It doesn't take away their scoring potential. This emulator, to make this plan come to fruition, we can see this part of the devil fish with the emulator. So we want to smoke them with the emulation cannons and the heavy bolters, even though I want to go for the Riptide. It just means that this guy can't benefit from cover and then I can bomb him with the Exorcist <laughs> and then potentially make him explode to do more uh, collateral damage over here. That'd be, a, that'd be a hell of a spectacle. That's what I want to try and go for now. It would also force the Breacher team out, gives me a little bit more options later, assuming this guy's dead. It's like, uh, if this, then that, if this, then that kind of play, you know? But that's what we're here for. And the heavy bolter. Where the heck do I want the Heavy Bolter to go? Probably for the Riptide. Yeah, we just want to hit that with the Emulation Cannon. So we'll do Heavy Bolter into the Riptide, get that out of the way. We do... We're not hurt or anything, so we have three hits with Sustain. And fives to wound. Oh! Wow, three wounds. Minus one. Minus one! Oh, oh one goes through. Yeah, two damage, I'll take it. You got ten wounds left. That's one step closer to the goal. And then the Emulation Cannon is into the big guy. 2d6! Oh, 11! I just wanted to hit you. The, the number's fancy. I don't expect it to do a whole lot, though. Fives to wound. You were toughness higher than six. Well, that's a fancy roll. Wow. We're gonna get five wounding hits at minus one. No cover. Four of saves. Uh, five, right? Five of them, yes. Uh, three go through. Okay. We got them down to ten? Yes. Yeah. Retributor's gonna be next. They don't really have too many options. They're going for Riptide right in front of them. Ah, oh, they hit on fives though. Gross. Oh. All right, good luck to them. It only matters if I roll fours. This plan fails horribly if I roll fours. I rolled one four. That's not bad. Three hits with Meltas is not bad. I am going to do this. These are strength nine, your toughness. Nine. Nine, force to wound. So I'm going to do these one at a time because I'm probably going to use a miracle die for the last one. Uh, no wound, but I do get to re-roll because... So the re-roll wound rolls a one unless they're targeting an enemy that killed one of my units. Crap. <laughs> Said this is the one that killed them. That one lit them up. Now I gotta remember if that killed anything of mine. Um, Son of a gun. To apologize everyone, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna reallocate my target into this Riptide because I thought that was the one that killed him. Total brain fart, this is the one that destroyed him with Tank Shock. Which means I have one more hit on him as well. So we have a reroll to wound. That still fails. And then I'm gonna add a third one for the uh, the hit. And then I'm gonna just do two at a time. Reroll the wound roll. And then I'm just gonna use, uh, see if I ruin on this last one. I'm gonna re-roll it and use a miracle die to roll a five. Ah, but I wanna do the damage. No, I'm just gonna re-roll it. Hey, Ooh, there, there we go. go. So three wounds and you have invuln saves. All fours. 
Oh, okay, no, no, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, what's your max damage here? Uh, I gotta look, actually. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm gonna roll the first one. If I roll a five up on this die, I can perform an act of faith with the other one and then do another seven damage. So I need a five up or a six. A two! Oh. I'm still probably gonna perform an act of faith on the next one just to do it. So I'm gonna grab a five. I have two fives, which is gonna be seven damage. So I took four plus five. Sorry, sorry. Four plus seven is 11 damage. And it uses up one of the cherubs. And I get to recycle that to another miracle die. So that five becomes a three. All right, three wounds left. The other part of my plan where this guy was dead is completely moot now. Again, I thought he was the one who destroyed it. So the Overwatch isn't going to be as effective over there. I am left with a couple of Exorcists to fire now. And this guy's sitting pretty at three freaking wounds. This, yeah, Exorcist is going to fire over to this guy. Heavy Bolter is going to have to go for the front oh, guy. Yeah. Heavy Bolter first, hitting on... Uh, it's minus two to hit, plus one to hit, so fours. Uh, oh, three hits, and nothing. Oh, no. Missiles, which are indirect into this guy. It will be D6 plus two. Ooh, it's only three. Hitting on that, because, again, it's minus one to hit for indirect, minus one to hit for battle damage, plus one to hit for the thing. Plus one to wound, though. Uh, that does wound, and it's an invuln save. Good luck. Ooh. Ooh. This could kill D. I believe it's D6 plus one, or it's at least D6 damage. You know what? I'll take the command point here. All right. Reroll for an invulnerable Sarah. save. Does he live? Yes. yes. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. That means Exorcist number two is going to follow up and do the same thing. He is going to fire his heavy bolt to right ahead into the command, uh, the suit team. And then the missile launcher is going to go for this reptile to try and bring the big guy down. So badly wanted to pop that because he makes the deadly demise happen on a five oh, up, which would have been, been awesome over there. Yeah. We're just going to suffer the breacher team. Anyways, let's do the shots into the big guy. Get that out of the way. We've got five this time. That's a lot better. That's a lot, lot better. So same idea. We're hitting on fours after everything is said and done. Wounding on... Uh, threes normally, but down to twos because we're plus one to wound. Uh, it didn't matter. One wound sneaks through. Can you make one additional save? If I you... do, I feel bad. Oh, oh, it's okay. That's okay. That's what the four-up's there for, just to grief me. <laughs> and then the heavy bolters. Fours. Uh, three hits. And strength five, your T6. T5. So threes to wound with a plus one to wound. Oh. Just the one. Just the one. That's Minus one. Mean? Can I get a guy? No. No. All that's left is this Sister of Battle Squad. We have, what is it, three, four, five, six, seven bolters over into the suits. Seven bolters. I now just realized I forgot my reroll of a miracle die over there. It doesn't really matter. It wouldn't have helped too much. And, oh, oh, whew. I think for glory, we're going to leave the safety of the building in charge uh, to that devilfish with the Sacrosanct Squad. Uh, yeah, I'll probably use an act of faith here. I'm going to use a five from the pool in addition to rolling. A six, we get to go up to 11. That's effectively their 11 inch charge. Every model that could get into base contact got into base contact. Three, four on the side there couldn't do it. The one over here couldn't do it, but they'll get there when they pile in. And uh, I think that is kind of it for charging. I don't, I don't really expect... Can I do? Oh, I didn't fire that thing's combi weapon. I gotta fire the combi weapon over here. Quickly resolve that. Couple shots on the combi weapon to quickly resolve. Uh, four is to hit, so we gotta hit. Uh, no. If I had my stuff together, I would have known that this was the target to go for. Grenades on this guy might have been enough to seal the deal to get that secure no man's land. Otherwise, I think my only bet is to get it in close combat now. Oh, that's an interesting conundrum to be in. I don't think I could do three damage to it. I got a sword. <laughs> I got a power sword. That's about it. That'd be right. I'm not going to worry about it. Right to fighting. Just this squad who charged in is going to try and beat up this uh, devil fish. We'll pile into you. The cannoness is free to pile into the commander's side. And this guy is going to go that way as well. And this one's going to go up there. And the dock will jump in there as well. And uh, we'll get some attacks going there. Now, I am going to use Righteous Vengeance for free. Because we got the Cannon S. We'll reduce the cost by one. Haven't used it yet. Uh, that will give my unit reroll hit rolls. Uh, they are not below half strength for the wound roll part. You're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven maces and the Spear of the Faithful. And then two maces into the Commander Squad. Uh, sorry, the suit squad with the commander, and then the blessed blade from the cannon nest in that same squad. But we'll do the we'll do the devilfish fighting first. Twenty one attacks. Here's eleven out of the twenty one into the devilfish. Sixes are lethal, so I'm only going to keep them. I'm rerolling everything else because uh, otherwise I wound on sixes. So this is my best uh, best chance of getting wounds on them. This one misses, and then the rest I have to roll. We're strength four. 
which is going to be, okay, two more wounds. These are all minus one, two damage. Six. Six. Um, oh, oh, that's 10 damage. It's dead. Unless you want to reroll one. Oh, uh, wait, uh, armor three? 81. So. Only one passes. Yeah, these are two damage. Each. I can't count. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've been we've been at this all day. We've been at this all day. It's been a long day. Um, uh, did you use the reroll earlier? So you have, you should, oh, because the rapid ingress is free, but that's what the yes. reroll was for earlier. So um, you had I two. actually am not going to reroll this. All right, roll up a deadly demise then. Let's see what we get on the... In your face, I'm going to not No, explore. not quite. And let's see where these, uh, what are they called? Breachers. Breachers go, yes. The humans. The human that's where they are disembarking too. There's 10, mo 11 models in there actually. Thank you, I almost cheated. Godra Fireblade, and then only one, one. mortal wound on him. Bah! And there goes the devil fish. Then no need to resolve the Spear of the Faithful. I'm going to do the Hollowed Maces over here, and then the Blade. Hollowed Maces. Uh, we got one lethal, bunch of hits. I'm just going to fish for more lethals, because they're pretty high toughness anyways. Uh, Ooh. Well, in the, the exact same, it's the exact same roll. <laughs> well, the amount of hits that, that is. Fives to wound. Oh, there you go, four at minus one. Eat that fish. And I pop oh. a suit and do four damage to another. Got him. And that guy's, uh, the, his guardian drone or shield drone kept him alive. Right. Uh, that would put him at two? Uh, he should no, take one. four. Yeah, one, yeah. And then the cannon S is going to try and clean him up. Yeah, that's right. Blessed Blade is four attacks. Uh, I'm just going to re-roll everything. Hits on twos anyways. Got a lethal in there. And strength six, your toughness. Five. Oh, threes then. Oh, three wounds at minus two. Then these are four up, five ups? Uh, have... Three up armor, so five oh. ups. Oh, you smoked yeah, okay. them. Yeah, Good, yeah, no yeah, problem. Works. All right, well then I will consolidate. Hello, my fishy friends. We have hooves. And those are humans. Human. Human. Hey, hey. We end up dragging them into combat. Got the breachers in the end. Ah, but... Uh, is that about it? Uh, yeah, that, I just want to keep one model on the objective at least, I suppose. Oh, I did have my doctor to attack with. Hmm. It's got yep. uh, doctor tools. Fours to hit with the doctor tools. Hey, we got to, oh, we roll everything though, same strat. Hey, no lethals though. Uh, uh, nope. <laughs> right, now they're done fighting. Well, was that my only charge? Yep, so you get to pick one of the non-charge fights. You got breachers, suits, shadow sun, all that stuff. Uh... The suits will try and kill your engine. Yeah, I mean, that's reasonable. Fours and fives to hit. The Dark Dice is the commander. Mm. Nice. Same either way. <laughs> it's hard to tell on camera, but believe us, we're doing it right now. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, ooh, strength that, six. Strength six, that's a wound. Armor. Ooh, feel no pain. Ooh, hey, damage. Scratch that there. Strength five, no damage. I would have lived anyways. That means I will just go with... I'll just go with that emulator. Why not? By emulator, I mean penitent engine. <laughs> Threes to hit, whoosh, with sustains. Uh, that is all hit by one. And fours to wound with shred, being twin linked, I mean. Oh, that's all, seven wounds minus one. What do you got, fish scum? Fours. Dead. Ooh, and then the Dead. commander oh, takes oh, suit. Oh, wow, wow. Commander takes four. He's got two shield drones, giving him eight wounds. Of, uh, over six, and now he's down to four left. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You may go now. Oh. Riptide's gonna punch the emulator. Two hits, glorious strength. Six. This Ooh. one is six. Nice fives. Hey, there's a wound. Yeah. Three up. Save. We're okay. Yep. And I'll hit you right back. Ooh. 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 Two wounds. Yep. Uh, two oh. Up. Oh no, those are six. He probably has two ups. Yep. Back to Shadow Sun fighting the Sacrosans. Sacrosans. Hitting on fours. That's a hit. And strength. Uh, strength five. Well, it'd normally be threes to wound, but we're minus one to wound because we have a character with us. They're like a bodyguard unit. Fighting former comrades. Look at that. That's a tragedy. Or is it a travesty? I actually don't know. Are they synonymous? I it's, couldn't tell it's, you. it's travesty because you haven't understood the greater good and why yeah, you should just, join. They're just trying to teach us here now. <laughs> I understand. Yes. <laughs> with brute force. <laughs> brute force. Um, hit on fives. And wounding. Oh, yeah, there we go. I forgot to tap still. <laughs> down. We're still down. Uh, one wound on the five there. Do I make my armor? I do. Of course, the Cadre Fireblade gets to attack as well. Uh, that is maybe... I no? think, believe he does hit on fours. I will uh, confirm that for you. Fireblade. Because if I get that wrong, someone will tear me apart online. Oh, don't worry. We've probably already gotten several things wrong. It complicated game. It's easy to call mistakes out when being scrutinized by thousands of people. 
Sick, he hits on fours. Still only strength three. Uh, oh. so be just the one then. Tau. Bam. Safe. No. Can't get through my power armor. Nope. I think that's it for you. That's it for me. I did, yeah, I fought with, he killed the, actually he did weirdly well. He did a lot of damage, got that guy down Yeah, that four. was crazy. Then, uh, we're done. Ah, overall the turn didn't go splendidly. I definitely blundered on this end here. I should have focused more on this uh, Riptide earlier with some of my preliminary shooting. Though, granted, the Immolator going for that definitely helped me out. The Spear of the Faithful might have done a few extra damage, but I killed it exactly. And it took a couple damage, three damage, in fact, from the Immolator earlier. So that worked out quite well. Otherwise, the Exorcist didn't really do a whole lot. Couldn't get through the Invulnerable saves, but that's what they're there for. So we are good to proceed to the end of my turn, where I do secure No Man's Land, simply the objective in the middle with my one model on it. That's two points because I don't have the second one. Off by, I had five OC, these are four each. So if I destroyed one of them, we would have been okay. And I have that command point left over, I could have grenaded, but that's okay. I'll get two points there, and I'm halfway to defending my stronghold. They just need to live until the end, but there's not a lot of pressure on them, so we should be okay. I mean, here's hoping. Before we jump into Kyle's turn proper, I'm just going to get my Miracle Die roll out of the way. We got a one. Then an update of the score as we go to the third battle round of our game. Kyle Yun fully activated. Sisters of Battle potentially be able to be put into the dirt because this is where the Tau shine. I'm hopefully do a lot more damage by this point, but uh, we'll see how it plays out. Currently going to both be at two command points as we go to the third turn for the Tau. Could you guys believe we have no primary yet? I only have nine secondary plus two tertiary, and then Kyle's got seven combined. So I'm technically winning by four points, and I could get to fend for three more, but this lack of primary is a little disheartening here. Three Miracle Dice uh, ones and three uh, two threes currently is what I'm playing with. All right, so I got Defend Stronghold. I think my stealth suit's gonna drop back if he doesn't <laughs> pass, or does pass Battleshock. And then I got Area Denial, which Got interesting. We got the Sacrosancts in the middle. One model's in the middle. Uh, so if you kill off enough of them, you can deny it. But you also have to get a unit within three of the middle as well. Oh, yeah. Shadow Sun might disengage for that. Of course, yeah. That's a, definitely a e super easy option for Shadow Sun. It's the losing my 30 shots on the Breachers is brutal. Ah, uh, yep. I have pistols, so that's... 20 shots, but you know, they're not strength six minus one. I'm not gonna discard any of the cards. We need the command points for the Tau side here to make magic happen, obviously. So yeah, this is the area denial we were talking about. Shadow Sun can just jump over just to get a model there. And then we have to nuke the Sacrosanct squad, but we are talking about Kalyan Tau. So like that is definitely within the realm of possibilities over there. Uh, otherwise, the Defend Your Stronghold one's a little awkward because this guy could fail a battle shock check, which means the Hammerhead could do it. But it's got to do the up and around move there. I mean, obviously possible. But uh, that's about it. I think uh, we can just go right to battle shocking for you. We've already updated the command points. Yep. Battle shocking. This Riptide needs to do one. All right. Riptide. Tide of rips. Oh, oh battle, battle shock. shock. I don't know if that actually matters or not. But, oh, I mean, that means you don't get the points for this objective. Because I actually have the 5 OC on your floor. Oh, that's actually a big deal. Hey, well, look at that. Nine, nine, nine more, no primary points for us. You will get four for this one, luckily, when that comes up. Oh, they might battle shock too, but you have the devil fish on it, so you're still yeah. double good over there. So it turns out half of my plan worked. I was able to not get the points myself, but I also was able to at least deny you some of the points. That was a clutch roll. Very good. The stealth suit here, looking for a 7-up. I need them to pass. Yes. You do! Excellent. So the stealth suit's good to go. I uh, don't have to worry about that. This guy's good. Far, far side. Oh, the Breacher team over there definitely needs to roll. What are they going to get? Four. They're good. Boom. You don't have any bonding knife ritual rules anymore, do you? No, that's sad. I'm. Nah. Well, every every edition of Warhammer 40k, every army has technically lost a little bit more. It is a sad little fact. Yeah, it's right. It just makes it a little sadder. Yeah. So 11th edition will lose a bit more. 12th will lose a little bit more. In fact, we'll all be the same army come 12th or 13th edition. <laughs> <laughs> one day. One day. We'll all be cubes. Yeah, we're just cubes. Moving po the Pog Wars have begun. <laughs> <laughs> and here's my 32 millimeter base attacking your 40 millimeter base. You know, hit on fours, win oh, yeah. on fours. <laughs> yeah. Scoring wise, you're gonna get four victory points. The first four primary <laughs> points earned. Congratulations, <laughs> very, to the very, town. very, very well done, Kyle. Thank you, thank you. And then that means you can nominate that breacher team to be like a guarding unit. And right. at the end of my turn, if they're not destroyed and they're still on that objective, you get an additional two points. 
And you kind of like, it's like each objective is worth four, but it's worth six if you designate a unit to guard it. Actually, it doesn't even have to be um, them. It could be the devil fish as well. It's just, and it's like any unit can do it. It doesn't have to be battle line, nothing like that. It will probably end up being, well, let me do something. Yeah, I'll let you figure that out. It'll just be the breacher team. No problem there. Uh, we're going to mark that just so we know. We'll just put that shield on them to let them know they're guarding it. So that's, that'll be six points later, but it's four points for right now. That's kind of it. We're off to the movement phase to line up a really, really, really devastating shooting phase, probably. All right, we are getting out of this situation. Yeah. Goodbye. More like we need help back here. Oh, that works too, yeah. They can fall back and shoot because they got nasty, tau, dumb nonsense. Stay and fight me. And I won't be over. I'd like to overwatch, but he's got 10 wounds still. And I don't have any <laughs> miracle dice worthwhile. I got ones and threes, everyone. Ones and threes. We're going to advance this stealth suit to get onto this over here. Oh, that's good enough, though. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. He, he only needed or he needed to advance to get to clear the uh, wall there and to get onto the home field objective to start working on defend stronghold. But I can hit him with an exorcist missile if I need to. You, though it's you, a hard shot, though. Do you think they'll be left? Yes, of course they've survived everything else. Why won't they still be alive <laughs> until next turn? <laughs> we are about to run away over here, retreating. I don't think there's anything uh, cool I can do about this other than laugh at you, I guess. Uh, we are strategically redeploying. Can they fall back and shoot? No. Okay, okay, I okay. Wish. I wasn't too sure if there's like a Kalyan strat or something like that. That'd be kind of cool, but no. I mean, it feels like it feels fitting. Like obviously, we don't. I, I don't. I'm not here to promote breachers being able to retreat and shoot, but <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if you told me that that was an option. I, we need some weaknesses. Ah, uh, so and then we have Shadowstone's going to retreat forward. Yeah, so we have with fly going and infantry going to the ruins there. Well, the building, uh, playing as ruins. And uh, that will give you potential for area denial if these ladies aren't there anymore. What about the Cold Star Commander? I think he's going to stay. How are you going to kill my ladies if he stays there? Oh, I can't. Yes, I have to be. <laughs> yes. So we're going to retreat. Yep. Just retreating back to the ruins over here on that objective. And then, yep, we are laid bare in front of the Tau gun line. Hopefully we can survive though, because I don't think anything can charge them. This guy could actually, if he wanted to, just to tie him up a little, forcing them to retreat. But I, oh, that would also let them pile into things, so I don't actually recommend that. Well, if I do it, it'd be a tank shock. <laughs> it could be, yeah, I mean, there would be a tank shock that could help out, yeah. I love a good tank shock. Yeah, that really hurt me over here pretty bad. Actually, potentially a game-winning tank shock on this end of the board. <laughs> yeah. And the rest of the movement is just in this corner. What are you going to do over here, Kyle? Creatures are going to move up, stay on the objective to be able to shoot. Delafish is going to move up, maybe another target for tank shock. And the broadsides are going to put their eyes on a uh, organ tank. Yeah, sure. Didn't work out last time. Well, I, don't, I also don't have a six this time to keep it alive, sadly. Yeah. It is what it is. We'll be back when that's all done. All right, yeah, that's all done. I think we're good to go to your shooting phase, right? Yeah. All right. No, no. Ooh, no, not quite. Oh, yeah, we have Farsight over here. How could we for <laughs> nearly forgot about him. Yeah, just moving up. Just going to go put pressure on things here. Okay, now we can begin the shoe sting. Sure. So we're going to start with our breaches over here, shooting into the sisters, spotted by our broadsides. All right. Do they have a marker light? No marker light. All right, so just plus one to hit. Yep. I mean, that's, there's no... Uh, and I... sustain, because we're in turn three now. Oh, do you have to be spotted to get the sustain? Well, I get sustain one, but if I'm spotted, it's sustain two. Oh, I didn't. I forgot about that. I played Tau a couple times, but I played like pretty much every arm, so it kind of... It just falls. all blends? It blends together How quite often. Yeah. Well, hey, that's just the nature of the army. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, we've had a day, we've had a wardrobe yeah, change because yes. it's the next day. Uh, sometimes it takes a while to play a full proper match play game, especially when I get distracted like I do in the mornings. Okay, what are we looking at? How many we got left? We got five there. Caught the fire blade in yeah, there. Four oh, yeah. breachers. So we're looking at uh, twenty-four shots from the breachers. That's a pretty that's a pretty cool amount of shots from four breachers. You know, three shots each. You know, that's what we got to do. There's only four. Oh, did you say twenty-four? Twelve shots from the breachers. Three, six, nine, twelve. 12. I can't count. That's okay. You know what? It's, I forgive you. We, we just meant 12. Anyways, threes because you're being spotted. Ooh. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. That's 10 additional hits because of the glory of the Cal Yun. The patient hunter strikes yet again. Yes, My does. body is not ready. <laughs> now, the only thing to note about them is they are minus one to wound because they are guarding a character. Okay. So you're just a force to wound, I believe. Uh, strength six. Strength six. Oh, I am strength back six. to three then. Back to three. Oh boy. Did it matter? Is there any twos? Yeah, there's, oh, there's twos. Two twos. They're equipped with a bunch of storm shields. So they have four from vulnerable saves. Oh, we make three. 
Oh, four. We made four. Bless. All right, the doctor says, stand back up, you two. You're not done serving. Five, unfortunately, do go down, though. Oh, they're only... Go ahead and lose these two, three. I'm going to lose the spear, I guess. Five, just to keep them clustered around that area. Contra Fireblade and his gun drones. Fireblade gets no sixes, but they all hit. And the strength five gun on him? Strength five. So yeah, so force fours? to wound, yeah. One, two, and a three. three. All right. Contra Fireblade's gun drone has to go separate, but that's fine. So here's the unit's gun drone. Is this four is then with the plus one? Yep. And then that's a couple of extra hits there. Strength five on a gun drone? Strength five. Looking for fours with a minus three. one. And then the... Fireblade. He's got two gun drones. Moving on... Fours. fours yep. Uh, three more. OAP on those. We do have a three up. And the doctor might help us. No damage. Nice. Right, we're going to move on to our hammerhead here, who is going to take a shot into the immolator. And the smart missiles are going to go into uh, your melt squad over there. Oh, right beside them, the retributors. There will be no spotting. So we'll do the big gun first. Should be a three to hit with a plus one. And you get your own built-in reroll. Yep, thankfully. Uh, oh, it misses. Okay. Ooh, there you go. One turn of not hitting. we use stealth suits on hammerheads. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Uh, the stealth suit, unfortunately, is in the back there. Cannot see much. He is is defending the home objective back here. And then the smart missiles whoo, up and over at them. Which I think I have sight technically. You do, so. yep, yep. Good there. Uh, okay, four hits. That's not and bad. Actually, one sustain. Oh, because you're not marked. That's right. Yep. yep. And threes. Are these ones twin linked? Uh, or is it just the riptide ones that just are? Just the riptide ones. Oh, okay, so one fail. They have a three up. Ooh, two go down. I wonder if it's worth shooting at that. I could use a strat for two of them to fire at your guy in return i welcome it could be interesting i am plus one to hit right now we're gonna lose our champion our sister superior sadly an additional retributor there just so i can have better line of sight we're gonna praise the fallen for a command point all three of those retributors are gonna take shots at this hammerhead and they can all see through one way or another. Uh, we are going to, because we don't have any big dice in our pool, we're going to perform an act of faith with one of these shots anyways. Uh, they get to hit on, I think they hit on twos, because they are heavy. No, they moved on my turn. Just double checked, it is this turn, if they remain stationary. Though, I don't know, you can't really declare stationary on the opponent's turn, I think. All the same, I don't really care. I'm gonna hit on threes because we are uh, wounded anyways with uh, Hollywood Martyr. So we only can benefit from a single plus one to, to begin with, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, first lady is gonna miss one of them. The second one is gonna miss one of them. And the last one is going to hit and use an act of faith on the last one. So we're gonna have four hits. Bring that bad boy in. We're gonna use our cherub there to recycle it. And that three is going to become a three. <laughs> it's close, though. Dang your base. Four hits into this hammer head. We get to wound. On, your toughness is probably 10, at least, on him. T yes, actually, T10. So fives to wound, but we do get full rerolls because that hammer head punked an immolator earlier, or a rhino at the very least. So yes. they get to reroll against uh, enemies. These are th two at minus four, and you have cover. Two six up saves because of the cover. Ooh, cover did not help. We're not in melter range, I don't think, so we're going to just go ahead and roll 10 damage. Guess I'm not unhappy with spending a command point to do 10 damage to the enemy. Good job, ladies. Riptide next. What's the plan? Riptide's going to go into your the mace sacristanes. sisters. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be spotted by the devilfish. Excellent. Easy enough. Yep. Devilfish does not have a mark. Uh, no, no marker. No like marker. Really but I am going to overcharge because... Actually... Ah, uh, four pinball. You probably don't need to. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, the, it will you make my feel no pain. pains harder. I already have three damage. Yeah, I'm only one wound, yeah, so I have to so make three of them. Don't need like to I don't think you do either. What are we doing first? The big gun? Big gun. Should be threes to hit, six yeah. are spicy. Oh, oh, oh okay. my. Well, I apologize for that roll. That's really bad. That's a two to wound, up to a three to wound. Uh, it's, it's a wound. A five, it's it a wound, man. Yeah. The brutal battle roll, holy. Invulnerable? Ooh, no, that's three damage, though. Can I make this? Come on, doctor! Oh, not quite one of them, though. So we'll go ahead and lose this one. And then the smart missile is also going into them. Same idea. We got a hit. And uh, four to wound with the reroll. Because the twin linked. One. Hey. Single three up armor. That's a one. Uh oh. And the doctor does not help us. Uh, we are going to lose this one. Got to keep our model on the objective. Devilfish is going to follow up. Nothing to really spot for it. What do we got on there? Burst cannon and some... Burst cannon and smart missiles. And gotcha. Same target. And we have a hit. Uh, yep, one hit. Strength five on a burst cannon? Uh, yeah, strength that'll, six. That'll do it. 
Yep. We're going to go ahead and do the smart missiles as well. It's all the same save. Oh, lots of hits that time. One more hit. Actually, everything hits there. Yep, and due to the new Kion rules, I believe that is going to be a sustain two because it's going into the same target it spotted. Oh, sure. That works for me. Yep. And... Kaboom. Uh, fours. Really? So we just have five... Six. Six additional wounds. We've got three ups. We make most. And the doctor saves neither. We have only the Sacrosan on the objective. And the, uh, the two characters, obviously. So broadsides are going to try to finish this organ tank and send their smart missiles into the Sacrosaints. Gotcha. Yep. So starting with the heavy rail rifles. Hitting on th fours. Oh, so two hits with the sustain. Oh, yep. Nothing was going to spot for them. No. Yeah. And on uh, that six that, will do it. Yeah. And the three probably does as well. That's that six is devastating, so I don't have to roll the save for the other one because yeah, they we're just going to go down uh, and nothing too bad happens. But we do lose one of our exorcists finally. <laughs> oh, it is a miracle die though. And it's going to be a six. Nice. The smart missiles into the sacrosan. I need to live here. Ah, These are good work. Fours to hit with, yeah. so it's five hits in total. And weird interaction. They spotted on the sacrosense, so that should be a sustained two. Oh, that works for me. And these wound on fours. Yeah. Oh, that's five. Nice. I had to do this properly. I got to not lose this unit. So here's the first four saves. I'm going to command point reroll this one. And then I'm going to activate the last one to pass with my three. Ah, uh, he must live. This Riptide is next. He is battle damaged, battle I assume. Damage? Yes. Oh, uh, well, I ignore modifiers to hit. So. Oh. <laughs> yep, sorry. It's fair. Oh, uh -huh. I have rules. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Ion Cannon's going to go into those lovely ladies right there, and then yep. the Smart Missiles is going to go all the way over to the Sector Saints. Yeah, trying to take them. We got one left over there. Do we probably have, we have Lion Sight to the Cannon S, it looks like, too, so you, get, you don't have to worry about the indirect. Oh. So we're going to do the... You're a T3? Yeah, they're T3. Yeah. Uh, any invuln? Nope. Just six them? up. Uh, at the threat of death, the Earthcast <laughs> has advised me not to overcharge. <laughs> With three wounds left, yeah, it's not very ideal. Uh, oh. We got three hits? Uh, nope, because Tau hit on fours. Yeah. But I will sustain one. That's right. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, right. You're Sorry, just yeah. doing math ahead of me. That's all good. And, and twos. twos. That'll do it. AP2, we're at five up saves. Uh, yeah. Oh, ah. look, only one dies. Ah. And then the Twin Link Smart Missiles. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. that's four hits. Nice. That's not ideal. And uh, Twin Link. Oh, thank you. No. Oh, okay. just the three wounds. Uh, nothing I do, but I just got to roll them up. Ah, can the doctor save me? Please, please, please. Yes. Oh. Oh, next up is Farsight in his suits. Yep, so all the fusions are going to go into your exorcist. I'm going to put the plasma rifle into these Melta people over here. Gotcha. And that's just on the Farsight's plasma it has? Yep. Yeah, they're all fusion. Gotcha. No spotting. They're on their own. What do you want to do first, the plasma or the fusion? We'll do the fusion. Get the sun killer guys, the sun forge battle suits out of the way. Yeah, yep. fours. Uh, no rerolls? Or is it reroll everything against vehicles? Is that the wound? Uh, not the hit, just the wounded damage. Oh, okay. So we got but quite a bit of hits, though. Yeah. yeah. And strength is normally... Nine. So four, five is to wound, but plus one because of Shadow Sun or Farsight. Oh, he would be so offended. Uh, yeah, no kidding. And then the, you get to reroll because it's a vehicle. Oh, yep. And then, okay, it didn't help. Just, sure. Three wounds at AP, very good. Four. So I do have a six I can make uh, an act of faith on, but I'm going to roll the first two dice to see how that goes. If I made two sixes, I'd act of faith the last one. Those are minimum enough to kill me. Do I explode? I don't. And it gives me... A five as a miracle die. Unfortunately, we do lose our very cool exorcist. Didn't do so much, cool. though. Plasma rifle. Uh, those hit. probably both hit. Yep. Strength. Eight. Yep, two it is. Oh, one wound. What's the AP on a plasma rifle? Three. Okay. Well, we are going to have a little bit of cover on that guy there. Does it matter? Oh, it did. Nice. Oh, I'm... Oh, oh this yeah, is four. it is three. I'm okay. Sorry. So we actually pass. Well, the Sacrosancts weathered the shooting phase. Again, Shadow Sun can't see anything in the ruins there, but it is providing the area denial, and uh, we just have to survive your charging, because you can devil fish charge in still. Yeah, it's going to be a tank shock, too. Tank shock, I know, yep. So it can't really fail. It does want to go for both targets. I kind of have to. It looks a little tight. You might have to charge both yeah, the penitent engine as well, but that's not a big threat or anything. Yeah, All right, roll it up. What do you got? Boom, you're in with a nine. And that means we're going to resolve a tank shock as well. 
just charging into both like that and then resolving a tank shock against the sacrosanct squad sadly toughness nine i gotta <laughs> gotta get lucky five ups for mortal wounds so you're gonna do three the doctor needs to help oh so close so close i me two. and that is it they are dead five up. and then shadow sun can get a command point back is it because you use the strat nearby shadow sun yep Oh, interesting. Okay. Five. Oh, nope. Oh, that's a one. Okay. Understood. Um, that is that, A. Eh? Well, okay. All right. I'm going to fight back here with the... Well, I mean, I'm, my, my cannon S isn't even engaged. So it's just the penitent engine. And I'm not even going to bother attacking with the doctor. If I get you down to a wound or two with the engine, which is going to be very difficult to do. Well, it's a good start. We have four additional hits. Fives to wound, twin linked. That's a whole four, five of them. And an additional three. All right, eight wounds and minus one. What do you got, Mr. Devilfish? Four? Not bad. Got him down to eight left. I'm not going to attack with the doctor. It's all good there. And that should be the end of Tau turn three. Getting five points uh, for... Oh, I guess not the full points. I do have units within... Uh, six of the objective. You get the minor points yep. for it, though. Yeah, I'll take the minor. And then I'd get my defense strongholds. And you had, what was your other card? Defense stronghold. Oh, you're halfway there. That's right. This guy's working on it. And I don't have any more indirect to put pressure on, so you're going to get it for sure. You know what? There's one more charge we meant to do here. This this Riptide wanted to try and beat them up in combat. Get them engaged. Actually, I was going to start with Farsight first. Oh, of course, Farsight can even do it, too. <laughs> Why wouldn't he go in? Uh, yeah, that, 10 will yeah. make it in. Farsight's going to make it in there. The Riptide's going to try to both the Immolator and them just to see if we can get in there. Jump to the other side. Oh, oh yeah, yes. that's no problem. Don't even have to measure that. Goes whoosh, over to there, lands, no problem. Uh, okay, well, might as well carve them up with Farsight. Yeah. Hitting on... Hitting on twos. Oh, nice. Got a fancy sword. Fancy sword. Uh, no, no, I assume it's only range attack sustain. Yeah. Strength six? Strength six. Twos it is. Only one fail. Minus... Minus one? Yep. Oh, okay, well... We lose the model. Oh, and then uh, we'll do the, just do the ah whatever he's dead too. It doesn't really matter. It's not gonna it's not gonna contribute much. It's only one model of them. Because uh, I'm gonna th I'm gonna throw in the towel there. Anyways, I got no play left, guys. I got a cannon s, a squad of battle scissors on my home objective. Everything's tied up over here. Uh, I'll show you the final score. But my turn is. I don't do much. I stand around. I can't really score much. And I'm surrounded by Tau on all sides. I haven't killed a whole lot of them to begin with. So I think we can easily throw in the towel and call it oh, a no. victory for the Tau here. With Defend Stronghold, I go to 12 secondary. Zero primary, by the way. Zero yeah, primary I've done still. my work then. And I'm not getting any primary either. You're going to gain... Well, you'll gain a, an additional two points on my turn because I can't kill them. I mean, I could maybe do it with the Cannonist, but that's still five models I have to kill, and you have a lot of OC there, so probably not going to happen. I'd probably overwatch you. And there's overwatching and everything, and it's a lot more dice to roll for a very... It's only two points. Uh, and uh, eventually your fourth turn would just be clean up. I, I, essentially, it is... I'm winning by one point because I have two points in tertiary, and the 12 there, so I'm at 14. You're at seven secondary... Four primary and two tertiary. Carry the one. Carry the one. Yeah. I'm winning by one point, but I think on Kyle's fourth turn, it's just going to be kind of um, kind of procedural <laughs> uh, removal of pieces and not a lot more tense moments remaining because he can't win without the right amount of pieces to stand on the objectives to accumulate the points. Both denying each other a lot of points overall. Yeah. I had a very long game too, and we've only we only really played the three turns. That's typically how it goes with sisters. In my experience, is like you kind of burn hot, burn fast, and if you if you hit, yeah. you hit. You don't, you don't. Uh, going second did hurt because you had a couple clutch hits. Yeah, with the, this hammerhead hitting both those rhinos. Sides, yeah. The broadside's coming in too. Uh, definitely intended on rushing the rhinos up for sure. Kind of staking a claim to this area early on and putting pressure over there. And hopefully, I could just like wave after wave after wave keep uh, tying you up. But you were able to kind of tie them up, clean them up, and deal with them relatively quickly. It's probably the best turn one I've had in a while. That was a good turn one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not bad. Well, yeah. It was a little bit more of an open battlefield today, but I typically prefer open battlefields. And I, I try to be very transparent about that in my videos. I don't like all the suit. I played, so like, I played a few games. I had a guest come by in the past, right? Let's put it this way. <laughs> uh, and I had a few games where I did like the tournament layout and everything and all that nonsense. Uh, not nonsense, but like it's just there's no shooting. 
yeah. at no, the beginning. There's like yeah. no action at all. Yeah. I just don't think it makes for like the best. It's it's boring. Yeah. Turn one just is a throwaway. Yeah, turn like what's the point of well, why not just play four turns with no terrain, right? Like why <laughs> what what's what's the point of the first turn of the game? Sometimes it's just a different game than what I'm used to. And understand that I am an old grognard when it comes down to it. But I like I like more traditional, older school looking boards. So yes, I usually like lighter boards in general. And I don't mind suffering the repercussions of it because I've been doing that for 20 years. Yeah, right. Tau going first, that's bad news. No matter, <laughs> no matter what edition yeah. it is, you always typically want to go first against Tau. And I know you could probably leave a comment, like, well, the train fixed that. You don't have to worry about that anymore. I just don't like the boring turn ones. I like that. I like action. I like things dying turn one right away. Ideally, nothing super critical, but, you know, still losing those rhinos right away were important, but not like game losingly critical. I just you know, didn't quite hit the marks where I needed to. Uh, there was the, ah, oh, what the heck was it? I needed something early on. I couldn't get the breachers when I wanted to. My exorcist didn't really carry any of their weight. No, your You exorcist. made, both of these riptides made a crap ton of invulnerable saves because they could have dropped turn one or turn two themselves. Yes. And they're sitting pretty at 10 and three wounds. So there's a lot of good saves on your part as well, keeping this flank alive and having just enough on this flank alive as your like suits held up my guys for quite a while i couldn't get yeah, them yeah i did not expect them to last that long they just kind of tar pitted you and then did they, <laughs> they, they, they tar pitted me sadly. and did the thing anyways because yeah. they can spot because they are eligible to shoot that works anyways yeah. that's it for this game everyone I, kyle and myself are actually lined up to play a very different kind of game after this more of a nostalgia warhammer game we're still playing 10th edition but we're using inspiration from older editions so look forward to that one coming out i actually don't know when that's coming out at all it might be a couple weeks might be a month we're, we're gonna record it right meow <laughs> <laughs> so happy war gaming everybody and we'll see you all next time bye thank you for coming by and joining us here kyle and bring these beautiful town Oh, thank you. <laughs> Do we want to spoil? Actually, a little bit of a spoiler. It's going to be several big things. A couple storm surge, a couple other big things, a couple other sort of big things. Yeah. Lots of big Tau big. robots, but we're playing with vehicle damage tables and uh, older an old school mission to keep it simple on the mission and to more focus on the vehicles fighting each other because I'll be playing the Imperial Knights. So it's just big robot fight. Big robots. Big robot I'm so fight. so excited. With rules that will try to make it feel a lot more dynamic. We'll see how it works though. It's more in theory it'll work, but <laughs> practice is a different story. Happy Wargaming everyone. Bye.